Oh yeah, it says live. It's live. Yeah, it's feeding back, though. Do you have the audio on the phone up or something? Just shut my phone off. Hear it, Dirk? No. I don't know what's going on. It's messing it. No, it's messing it, Tracy. It's like three seconds feeding back. What's up, guys? Can you hear there me? Was some, there were some technical difficulties, but I think he's live now, so. Oh. Yeah, I think we're trying to figure out, get rid of the feedback. Oh, yeah, you're, you're live. Yeah, I don't hear the feedback. Everybody else says working fine in the chat. Want this off? Yeah, I don't hear no feedback on the live either. Yeah, it's working fine. So... Keith, can you hear us? Tracy, uh, can you hear us? One, two, three. Oh. Can you hear us? Keith? Uh oh. You got no voice. Tracy. <laughs> One of them, right? No, I think he's got his headphones on it and he was just talking to me a few minutes ago. Yeah, I can. It, something's going on. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can yeah. you hear us? <laughs> Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Yeah, but see, there's still a feedback. Do you Only have, on your end. Do you have YouTube open on your computer? Shut that off. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, I hear you. Are you watching YouTube or are you on the Zoom? You turn the volume this down awesome. on the computer and the volume back up on the computer. Yeah, but he can hear us, right? Can everybody in the chat hear me and Kurt? Well, that's what Josh just said. She turned the, she, he thinks she turned the computer down. It's a mess. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, it keeps on feeding back. I can hear you, like everybody in the chat. I can hear you. Well, you don't need the audio from YouTube. You only need what's in your headphones to hear me. Oh, right. Mute, yeah, mute YouTube. I don't know where YouTube is at. Remember, it's on the bottom. You got to go through the bottom. It's like... Uh, uh, and uh, bring one of those windows up. Thanks, Kurt, by the way. Yeah. Hey, Kirk, we knew it wasn't going to go smooth. It's cute. <laughs> 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 
mess. It adds, it adds to the show. <laughs> it's a mess. <sighs> yeah, I got YouTube window up. Yeah, thank you, Kurt. I oh, still God. don't know where the mute is. It says a little bell, the little oh, wait speaker. A minute. Hello. 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 Jeez, you dick. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it went back on. Josh is here in Big Head now. Wonder if he took one of Keith's pills. Okay, I can't hear anybody now. What'd you turn off? Who has the headphones on? Right. Yeah, but wait and see the feedback. He doesn't have them on. I do. Oh, uh, he can just, he can even close YouTube because he's live. He close YouTube. And then go back to Zoom. Look at the Zoom window. Okay. Because all he'll need to do is hear the audio from the headphones that you're wearing right now. Yeah, he doesn't read the comments anyway, so. Yeah. John, magic panic time. <laughs> the problem is, Josh, that he only takes half notes. That looks great, though. Yeah, it does. That's cool. Answer it. <laughs> is that the body you painted recently yeah it looks good it came out nice i was very highly impressed with it i think i got rid of it my accidental talent the bobs i need to put a sign up here technical difficulties <laughs> no, he just said he got rid of it. Can you hear us, Keith? Yeah, but it's still feeding back to me. Really? It's got to be you your headset YouTube? the way it's plugged in. You must be hearing YouTube also somehow because you were re responding to a delay. Yeah, it's a big time delay. It's like, yeah, because see, I just heard you. I just heard me say, yeah, it's still feeding back to me. Do you have another YouTube window open? We got another YouTube window open? You need to close all your windows except for this Zoom. Even the window going outside. <laughs> Even the YouTube in the other bedroom. <laughs> Computer is going to be thrown out the window soon. <laughs> It'll be sitting next to my 3D printer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
dig head. Close your web browser thingies. <laughs> I, am, dry, I know who's drying clothes. I am big Ed. <laughs> I tried calling him on his WhatsApp to help. I fell out. Yeah, he don't know how to answer that, Josh. Come on. Actually, I don't think his phone lets him do that. Oh. JD. It's going to get started on that already. <laughs> Guess I can turn off my camera. Uh, there we go. That way, YouTube. Shut it down. We're going to try to start all over but she's got me on a little screen I don't know how to shut anything down ding dong the only thing you need open is zoom we can't even do that well, things you're on zoom now over. yeah and say you're on zoom what did you do trace What does that say? End meeting for all. I'm going to just... Yeah, but that, does that end the YouTube? End meeting for all. Yeah, yeah that'll... that'll close that's Zoom. just on Zoom. That'll close Zoom out. Yeah, it won't... Don't press that, Tracy. We got... I'm just going to try to start it all over again, but she's got this thing... I don't know if you can see it. That's what no. my computer looks like. Oh, so the, the where that window is, hover over it. Oh, I can't see the window now. Yeah, is there nothing to ma uh, maximize it? Click on that. No, click on that arrow to the left. Makes it shorter. Um, click on it, it again. Away. Double click that window in the center of it. What's the one on the right? The bottom right. That you one. tried that? Oh, you didn't try it good enough, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you just weren't on it. All right. Now, wait a minute. See if I'm feeding back. back. Hello, hello. All well, the oxygen for you. <laughs> Do you have feedback? Doesn't sound like it. He's waiting for it to. Yeah, so you shut all like... your windows down then, right? It must, yeah. It must yeah. have been a window that was open. Now you can actually open your YouTube if you want to, but you don't need to right now. No, you I'm just not going to on. Am I still live? Yeah. Um. Are you? Yes. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, I would have talked back by now. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. It's like it was like 45 second delay. It was like 45 second delay, delay, delay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Squat. <laughs> okay, Kurt, you can hang in here if you want. Or... I'm just going to mute myself and be off the screen so you two can do your thing. Bullshit. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> hey. Just a minute, Dirk. Okay.
I got to do that all over again because I mute my mic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Live from somewhere in Texas. I had a good scratch everything. Let's redo it all. Live from a studio somewhere in Texas is the Beanfield and Duckman Show. Whack, how you guys doing tonight? It's the Beanfield and Duckman show. And every third Saturday of the month, we're going to have a, a show like this, an interview. Uh, right, Beanfield? Right. Hey, hey, okay. Hey, Duckman, have you uh, want to hear a joke? Yeah, sure. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the road? He was chasing your mother. <laughs> uh Real funny there, Beanfield. Real funny. Anyways, tonight, guests, we're going to interview people. Tonight's our view is going to be Dirk from Cycle 13 Garage. Are you there, Dirk? Yay! Let's go to that thing. Ah! Scared the shit out of me, Dirk. I'm here. I had the first one, but stupid ass KB had the damn microphone shut off. Couldn't even hear you. We had a lot of technical difficulties tonight, though, huh, Dirk? Yeah, well, I mean, first, you spilled that water all over those cables and all that stuff, so, you know. First show, so. It's going to happen. So, yeah, so. Well, uh, hair and makeup nice. never got here, so I look a mess. I know. We sent them and, you know, we sent them to you, but, you know, California the traffic sucks. So, uh, anyways, here's one of the first questions. Um how did you get your name cycle 13 garage i thought i'd make up something the most complicated for people to remember and mispronounce so many different ways mm, yes i know we tank has a hard problem with that he <laughs> said he says well, uh, psycho cage or something like that 13 is a lucky number i was going to put that in there somewhere and then I do all of my work and stuff out here for the in the garage, but I didn't put it anything RC in case I ever do anything else, you know, 3D printing or anything like that or something. But right. I had as of yet, and right. like, oh, I mean, that's just you know because I'm that's certifiable. Certifiable psycho. See yeah. my sticker up there, the Psycho 13 Garage up there in the wall. Got one of them your stickers. The audience is somebody in the audience said I look like an older powder. An older powder. Oh, powder. Yeah, the movie, the movie. powder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I lost my notes. Have you seen my notes being filled? Uh, no, I don't know where your notes are. Ah, uh, Maggie's eating my notes. Damn it, Maggie. I mean, uh, duck, duck, uh, goat. That's duck goat. <laughs> I'm all screwed up tonight. I'm on two pills. <laughs> That's dino goat. Whack. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, okay, Dirk. Um, let's see. Uh, what is the next question? Is discuss that? Yes. Okay. We're gonna call you Psycho Garage. We're gonna call you Psycho instead of Dirk tonight. Okay, Dirk. Okay, okay. Psycho. Okay, so uh, you have lots of RCs. What's uh, your favorite scale? Do you have a favorite scale or just? I don't really. It just depends on the day, I guess. Depends on and the what day. I'm in the mood to work on. And honestly, I work on them more than I run them, but I want to change that around. Yes, I understand. Working on them is pretty fun, but we leave me like to drive and duck me I and mean, be like to drive. So, um. You uh, have you gone to any famous places, you know, to go run them? The only place that in I California. went to that's not really famous, but it's that Vasquez Rocks uh, where they shot like Star Trek, the TV show, and Mandalorian, oh, and some other things. Yes, but that's a famous place. Yes, that's a good I wasn't place. supposed I'd to like run to RCs there. there. I found out when I got there, you're not supposed to have RCs there, but nobody stopped me. Did you do any bashing there or just crawling? Just crawling. Just crawling. Really? Do you have any bashers? I have a ground pounder, red cat ground pounder, monster truck. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, not basher bashers. The tool to me is I have and stuff. The 
and Blitzer Beetle and stuff like that. They're oh, yeah. quick. Except but... to me, it's huh? Yeah. Them are famous uh, Radio Shack control cars, ain't they? That's what they used to call them. That's uh, what some people tend to call them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I see some art work back there who did that artwork uh. that would be somebody <laughs> amazing here Let's cameraman that's this guy named keith well who knows him but... oh he's a cameraman i think he's my cameraman he paints yeah. every once in a while you know yeah, yeah paints bodies cool. i don't know if he'll paint human bodies if they're de de deceased but if they're you know i never asked him i think he will if he just you know uh they stay there long enough still. I think the shipping would be the problem. Uh, I guess I could yeah. send it in portions. Oh, he can paint you. Yeah, he'll paint you a body. Yeah. <laughs> portions. Yeah. So uh, let's see. So you've never been like rock crawling at the Golden Gate Bridge or anything like that? Or do you plan no, on doing that? Is that I've been, far away? I've been to the Golden Gate Bridge. No, it's far, far away from me. It's closer to Kurt than it is me. Yeah, I see Kurt down there. He was helping us with our difficulties. Thank you, Kurt. Just He's not supposed you, to Kurt. say anything now, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's hear. What is the next question? You have any? Have you gone to any comps or anything like that? Do you do any of them? Or I have not as of yet. Um, they have a twenty fourth comp at my local hobby shop that they just started uh, last month and they're doing a second one soon and then I'm going to try one of those sometime but I'm also planning on going to Proline by the Fire in September oh yeah I heard that was a very nice event Proline by the Fire never been but I've heard a lot of good things about it looks good a lot of the coverage I've seen is good I think you can bring any vehicles there right I mean, not just Axial, like Axial Fest. You have to yeah. just bring out Axial. Yeah, probably by the fire, they allow everything. Yeah. Uh, everything. So, do you have any comp crawlers for 124 scale? Are you going to build one for your for your? I, know, I have truck? a few that are, that are pretty capable. They're not, you know, I think that and they might surprise some people that go there because I don't know the people I've seen at the hobby shop using their cars on their little course uh, are pretty basic. They don't have a lot to their cars. Right, right. So um, let's see one of your, your new vehicle. Can we see your new vehicle that you just bought, the FMS one? It is not in this room. Oh, uh, well, can you show us any of your vehicles? Do you have uh, any Devil's of Reject is up there. I could grab that. Sure, let's see the Devil's Reject. I mean, if you don't mind. Change yeah, my camera. Oh, so. I see the devil's reject. There's another one of his stickers on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, that is a sticker. Uh, we don't have no... Uh, we've just been hanging out in the studio trying to get everything ready, all the wires and stuff today, Dirk. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. So what, what is this called? The Devil's Reject. Yeah. Why did you name it that? I love that movie, The Devil's Rejects, but I uh -huh. mean singular since it's just one car. And it's a SCX-10 2 base on it. It's got some upgrades, some brass and things, and Desert Lizard shocks, and uh, Rock Pirates bed on it. What does the bottom say? Death something? Oh. Death and Rage. Oh, Death and Rage. Oh, oh, interesting. That looks like a comp truck, though. Is it like a... You, did it's you build a, it a like vehicle. a comp truck or more... Yeah. It's not a trail truck. Yeah, the parts from Rock Pirates make it kind of more comp worthy, but I don't know how it would actually do in a competition. It did good at uh, Vasquez when I took it. Hmm. Guess girl what, tied up socks. in the back. Oh, you got a girl tied up back there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably need one of those. <laughs> yeah, we need some of them around the studio. Yeah. Oh, um, let's see. 
Josh, I'm not sure that I'm ready for that because I don't have the controller here either. He was asking me to show the lights. Oh, yeah. You're... I don't know if I can because I the controller's the in at. the other room as well. Mm. Let's see. Let's see how much of the lights will come on without the controller. Yes, yeah, so let's check that out. It's a good... Uh... So, Dirk, how long have you been in the hobby? Since I was 15 and I'm 51. Wow, I mean... You've always had RCs that long and just hearing an R and stuff like that. It's not going to work without the control. Uh -oh. No lights. Sorry, no lights. Sure the technical difficulties on the Duckman show. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That doesn't happen. No, that never happens around here. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I started. So we, know you, we started when you were 15. Yeah, I started when I was young, and uh, you know, started with kits. They didn't do RTRs in the in the Tamiya rigs. Ah. Uh, myself, my dad was willing to help, but I wanted to just do it all myself. Learned how to do it, and just kept doing it. I got in and out of it for years because of having kids. It was different crawlers I was playing with at that time, little babies. Oh, yeah, my, little baby my, crawlers, my right? Kids, my they kids, my yeah, kids, yeah, not, not random babies. They don't have any floor. They don't, they don't take batteries, I guess, them kids. No. You know. oh, how many children do you have, if you don't mind ask, me asking that? Or, five. Five. Oh, are, are any of them into uh, RCs or no? Two of my sons are showing a little bit of interest again recently, but it's not very consistent. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what do uh, I heard? One of your boys has a YouTube channel. Uh, what does he do on that? He well, he has two YouTube channels. He has the Unfunny Duck VR, but he also has another one, the Stop Motion Potion, where he does stop motion Lego videos and things like that. Stop Motion Potion. So yep. uh, you hear that, people out there? Subscribe to that. One, and I wish uh, KB knew how to do some stop motion because, you know, I'm just sitting here acting like a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I apologize for all the noises coming from my phone. I hear some ringing back there and uh, some stuff. I think your that's laundry just, mat's on, honey. Yeah, the, the laundry's going and uh, that was just some magical chimes and stuff, you know, from the fairy dust and whatnot. Mm, the fairy dust, yeah. Uh, we like fairy dust around here. <laughs> Not the kind you snort. Oh, damn. That's the stuff we like. <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. Did you, Well, we heard you had some problems with some rats the other day. Did you take care of them? Uh, I think so. There might be one additional one that one of my kids said they heard a day or so ago. Still running around? You don't have no cats. You can take care of them. Well, I wish, cats. but if we had a cat, then the dog would go crazy, and the dog doesn't <laughs> do anything about the rat, so... Ah, okay, I see. Oh, so let's see. Any more RC questions? Um, You know, which one would you take out, like, your best one? Do you have any one that you would like? The one, I'm, the, the one I'm hoping to take out tomorrow, well, if, if I take more than one, but if I take just one tomorrow, I'm going to take the new FCX-10, but I want to get the Devil's Reject back out and run it, and I have a few other 10 scales that I want to get out and run. Yeah, then I that FMS, I'm going to see you run that. Yeah. As soon as I get out and get a run on that and get some footage, I'm going to be posting again. I haven't posted in probably close to a year. Yeah, it's been a long time. I haven't seen any videos from you yet uh, lately. Yeah. I need to do some more posting. Yeah, things have been different, but yeah. come on. So, I, uh, I know you work at Disney, and uh, that's a lovely job, eh? Sure. <laughs> it's a job. It pays every week. My uh, KB stepdad had a uh, had a thing from Walt Disney. Wrote him a, 
uh, thing he said uh, keep your powder dry he did a play one time so oh. where you know, Disney fans I guess yes John it is a mouse problem I can't escape that mouse yeah. what mouse writes, is that Mickey he writes the checks oh yeah that is another mouse problem isn't it could be a big rat problem but who knows uh, let's see we got any more RC questions we didn't get too many questions answered Derek I didn't ask too many questions <laughs> I can't answer if they're not asked but well, yeah, I have a well, question. Why I have you a laughing question to you. Why? Duck man. Yes. So you're duck man, so you're half duck, half man, right? Correct. So where does it stop? At your waistline exactly? Or did you know and you had yes. to or did you unfortunately go lower and have to keep a little tiny duck pecker? <laughs> yeah, no, I got a full size pecker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I don't want to At know least why. That, what the ladies say, you know. I, don't know, I, mean, I got a tail I, too, so. I don't want to know why it's full size right now. <laughs> the ladies say it, but I have a tail too, so you know. Please them from both sides. Yes, it does. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know why I don't want to have it full size either, Dirk. Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> see that. Dean, <laughs> I have a question for you. Yes, Dirk. Let me. I, I can tell you, you're, real, you're really into electricity because you're always wearing this ACDC shirt. You're into yes. alternating current and direct current. Oh, is that what that means? I thought it yeah. was a group. Oh. oh, it's a group? Yes, ACDC is a group. You have to listen to it sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Do they play the music? They play the music. Yes, they play the music. <laughs> okay. I heard your daughter was playing music. Is she still playing music? She is now not then. currently. She hasn't done it in a while. No. But I think she's going to get back into that and get back into art as well. She's supposed so, to create me a new logo at some point. Oh, cool. That'll be interesting to see. Yeah. yeah. So do you do your own painting on RCs? Or, I, you know, I know some people go out and, you know, have painting done and stuff like that, but... No, I do it all myself. You can tell by how bad it looks. Oh, yeah. Paintings. Uh, a little I usually rough. mess them up because I rush. Because you rush? Yep. Let's see. Uh, oh, you build them too, right? I mean, do you buy lots of other guns <laughs> or is it half and half? Or <coughs> Excuse me. Probably about okay, half and half. It just depends on what it is. But most ready to runs that I buy <coughs> get changed within the first week. Oh, it can be customized. You customize them up. Yeah. 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 Add, you know, upgrades and things like that or alter the way the body appears. Do you do you do it yourself? Do you have a three D printer and uh, do that or do you like go out I, and spend stuff on Amazon? I have a 3D printer, and I've printed stuff in the past. I haven't printed in quite some time. Uh, but, yeah, I've done that. I, I do a lot of the uh, changes and things just on my own, but a lot of things that I buy are just upgrades that anybody can buy and upgrade their, um, their, their RCs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's been very interesting. Yes. John, I, John says graphic designer and can't draw. I'm like, well, I never said I can't draw. <laughs> can't paint. Oh, so that's what you do? You're a graphic designer for Disney? Yeah. Uh, have you worked on any um, special movies or anything hmm. like that? Nothing that would be special to you or I. Oh, uh, okay. Disney Plus movies and Disney Channel original movies and things like that. The Little Mermaid and stuff? No. I no. like The Little Mermaid. Right. Well, if you've watched <laughs> Disney Junior, which I highly doubt, there's an aerial cartoon coming. Oh, I'll we'll have to watch that. Yeah. I don't know why I, mean, I just gave a promo. I, I promote uh -oh. a uh, thing for Disney, but. Oh, you know, shit happens like that sometimes there. This is live. Everything mm -hmm. 
goes crazy once in a while. So, uh, how many different logos do you have? Two, three, or? Oh, I don't know. Probably you know, a bunch of different five logos. Or six, five or six, maybe. You were you were selling them on shirts and hats too, correct? Sometimes. Yeah, that that's still out there, but I never really tried to make anything of it. I, I just put it out there so I could print my own shirts. Ah, so you can just wear your own your own swag. Yeah. Yeah. But several people have bought things. It's very nice of them. Yeah. Maybe KB will buy something one time or something like that. Who knows? I uh, need to uh, do that. He's done a lot for me. Uh, yeah, he's a keeps me in a box most of the time, so I can't say he's a good <laughs> guy, but <laughs> he finally lets me out here in my live and see what happens. It goes crazy. Yeah, I thought it went as smooth as I expected. <laughs> Crack, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it went smooth, all right. Hey, we're doing it. You're There's right. A lot of people here watching you. Do you uh, have an inside course for your 120 scales or anything like I that? I do. It's halfway covered up with a bunch of crap currently, and I'm starting to get it cleared off so I can start shooting the 124th videos again. All right. Um, what do you got for like 124 scales? A lot of axials or uh, new MFSs? It's a, variety. it's a variety. There's I've got the FCX24, the many SCX24s. I've got a couple of the TRX4Ms. Um, what else do I have? I have the RC four wheel drive Galande little mini one that. Uh, the RC Elf gave me. Ah. Uh, Do you plan just on most that, of them are SCX24. You plan on getting that new Red Cat? Is that nice? That's, that's an 18 said, scale, right? It, yeah, it, it looks good and I like it. I like the appearance of it and uh, it looks like it's uh, fairly capable and can be even better, fairly cheap, but just not in the cards right now because I've bought four 10 scale rigs in the right. last four or five months so yeah that, that mfs went crazy. go ahead Dark. Yeah. i'm sorry no no you're fine yeah that mfs we seen it the other night it, it looks i think they're trying to uh compete with traxxas with all them uh servos where it, what do you think how many servos that thing there's five the steering servo there's two for the front dig and or front uh, diff lock and rear diff lock, one each in front and rear, and then there's a dig servo and a two-speed transmission servo. Yeah, that's a crazy, there's a crazy amount of servos on there. I mean, you know, are they all waterproof or they're, are they like one, you know, they're small, 124 scales, right? Yeah, they're the micro servos. Uh, they all seem to function good. I think the rig itself is only claimed to be uh, water resistant not waterproof resistant. yeah a lot of them just say water resistant on them so they they're not submarines right yeah <laughs> which probably means the mud is safe perfectly safe oh do you go mudding uh no but i know that your friend keith likes to go mudding a little bit yeah we love mud yeah I'm the driver of the mud. I go in the mud all the time. Oh, Ask how are you guys me. liking the new vehicle? Uh, we don't know yet. Kind of flips over a lot, so. Yeah, it just really, it flips over a lot. I don't I would have thought much. that your, I would have thought your van would flip over a lot, but I've, I don't see it flip over that much. Yeah, my van is uh, hurting. I got to do some work on it. It's been in the mud too much. Got to, uh, you know, put some more bearings in it and stuff. And... Looks like uh, Duckman has a question from the audience. Ah. Well, says, does does Duckman, question? Josh from Gems Hobbies asks, does Duckman agree that a six channel radio is actually four because you have to use the two channels to drive? <laughs> yeah, that's the 
debatable. I don't know if I agree with that. I know KB says it's a four channel, so <laughs> uh, I guess he's my boss. Uh, well, really, I'm his boss because he's just a cameraman. So I'll have to think about that, Josh. I'll give the answer back later. And I don't care about channels. I just listen to ACDC. Yeah, <laughs> we know, Beanfield. <laughs> Beanfield, do you ever wear pants? No, I usually just these shorts. They're dirty. I gotta wash them. Usually just these shorts in my vest, my hat. That's all I wear. We're gonna we're gonna be making a four wheeler pretty soon. We can. No, out of a one twenty four scale. I guess they're pretty cool. I'm gonna drive that in the mud. Mm -hmm. Do you do you have any of them cool. custom uh, builds like that on your small the, scale? For the, oh, I I have several that I've done, but not uh, I've never done a quad a four wheeler. I wanted to do that, uh, just haven't gotten around to it. I have way too many projects I start and don't finish. So yeah, I heard that. Now that I have no money to spend and no motivation to buy any new ones. I think I'll start finishing up my projects. Yeah, that sounds good. We got a big swap meet coming up, so we're gonna this next weekend. We're gonna go over there, probably buy some more stuff to do some builds. KB likes to do lots of builds, you know. Well, hopefully, you'll get to see your friend busy. Mark. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't talk to him. <laughs> But KB puts me in, you know, he puts me in Beanfield in his jacket, so we walk around and look at all the stuff with him. So it's pretty yeah. cool of him. I can't nice. walk too good. I mean, unless he bends over to get something and you fall out, then yeah, you know, he hasn't done yet with a toilet, but I fell out a couple of times. So, So, uh, what other questions can I ask you? Uh, what, oh, what batteries do you usually run? Do you, like, do you nickel metal or you know, lipos or, or, you know? I think I still have two nickel metal batteries, but I don't remember the last time I used them. It's all lipo and life and lithium ion and... Life? What's life battery? I never heard of life battery. Uh... What, another battery type that's similar to uh, LiPo? LiPo? I think it's supposed to be a little bit safer, but I don't know. Or not safer, but... Less explosive. Not as... Yeah, I guess so. Which, I don't know, that doesn't sound like fun. Now, have you had any close calls with the, anything with your trucks or, you know? Or no? It's no, I had a battery, no, I had a battery get puffy once, but that... That's about it. Never nothing, had a problem with lipo. Never nothing crazy. Never a fire. None of that stuff. No smoke electronics or anything. I've smoked electronics on a twenty-four by accidentally plugging in the battery to the or the motor to the battery port and the other way around, and uh, I just smoked the ESC. But nothing out on the trails. No. KB just did that with his King Hauler. He had plugged the switch back smoked a, a sound kit you know and then i then i hear him say hey tracy can i get a sound kit she says nice <laughs> <laughs> that means no so what what is the origin of that why does she say knife oh uh, that was a uh, bradley uh oh you can't call him bradley you gotta call him brad I guess he uh one late night we're out just messing around and I said something and he said oh is that's knife Tracy's gonna say so means I got lots of knives and she'll stab me if I uh, uh stab KB not me you know <laughs> I'll run like for the covers uh, he'll just run me over well he's not here so you can call him whatever you want I suppose <laughs> Yes, but if he hears this, he'll get upset with me, so. No one that. No. So, okay, Dirk, it's uh, been about a half an hour, 
and uh, right. probably about all I do for interviews right now. Another. So, um, do you have any shout outs or uh, uh, anything well, you'd I mean, like to say? I'd like to shout out, obviously, KBRC 13, uh, the wonderful guys in the, in the audience there in the chat. Uh, we've got Dwayne, Radioactive Scale. We got Josh from Gems Hobbies. We got John from JM's RCs. We got Kurt, of course. You saw Kurt earlier from yes. Kurt's RCs. Uh, we've got Dennis, Trail Crawlers RC. We got Fern Solo joining us tonight. Wow. Squirrels here. Mitchell, Top Speed, and Mitchell Miners here. Uh, Looks like you got a full crew. Eric, Unknown RC is here. JD's RC is here. You got a bunch of people. You got 15 watching right now. Oh, you made me nervous now. I don't uh, huh? I, I don't read too well. You know, I'm a plastic duck, so I yeah, don't well, learn how to read. So, And Beanfield just listened to ACDC, so he don't know. He can't read too good either. <laughs> so, uh, At least you got the human schlong, so you're good there. Yeah. Human slong. Are we going to end it on that note? Human slong. <laughs> oh, I was going to say I. I'd like to say that I, I, that it was a pleasure to be here, but it wasn't. So. Oh. Uh, I won't uh, say it. Okay, I'm going. But thank you. It wasn't thank a pleasant you for having me. Yes. <laughs> thank you for hanging out with me. Not your human slong, but you know, thank you. Anyways. <laughs> So, uh, uh, of course, I, I would love to, to stick around. I'm going to uh, pop off for just a few minutes. I'm going to send out a notification to people so they can join. And uh, then I'll be back. Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. So you can KB's joins KB's uh, live Saturday night. All right. Oh, it was thunder well, I, right think there. I will say Crazy. thank you. It was actually a pleasure being here and being interviewed thank by you, the you gentlemen. Yeah, thank you, Dirk, for this is our first interview. Yeah, it's the first one, Dirk. Oh, oh, um talking about that, just one second, Dirk. Mm -hmm. We're going to pick out a new interviewer. Interviewee? Is that uh -huh. what it is? What are you? An interviewee? Or an interviewee. I an interviewee. Yeah. I'm the interviewer, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so this is the hand. I'm going to mix it oh. up. I'm going to pull this one out. This one fell out. And uh, what does that one say? Oh, green frog. Oh, oh green frog. Oh, green, green frog. Green frog's the next one. Right there. Nice. Nice. In touch with him. He'll be much so. more entertaining than I was and probably had <laughs> things to show. I was wildly unprepared. Yeah, so I was too nervous, the first one. So, you know, <laughs> first one is the, always the one you remember is the first one. Yeah, your first is always your favorite. Yeah. You know, it might yeah. not be your favorite, but, it, you know. <laughs> it just sticks you with remember. you. Yeah, sticks with like you. Like a bad taste in your mouth. Yes, or a rash. <laughs> Oh, we will see uh, you later, Dirk. And it's been nice talking right, to yes. you and interviewing you. And uh, I will pop back on and just you. I'm oh. going to find the crew. Of now you're so cutting. Thank out. you again. See you later, Dirk. See you later, Dirk. Right. <laughs> Bye. No more uh, cut from live studio from Texas, somewhere in Texas. And uh, that was the Duck and Bean show. And, and now back to your live with KBRC 13. <laughs> we had some problems there in the beginning. Dirk's going to send some uh, stuff out. So. Guys can pop in here. Nice job, Keith. <laughs> it was <laughs> Duck Man. <laughs> uh, uh, um, Kurt, maybe Monday you can help me try to fix this live shit. We don't have to do that.
Yeah, we need to get you set up so you can, uh, uh, like, uh, put a reminder out there for everybody to see. Yeah. Well, I just put it like in the WhatsApp, but it's, God, it, since this computer upgraded, it was just all messed up. Just mm. all that crap was going on, you know? Yeah. So would you go do some running today? No, I never even left the house. Slept all day long, pretty much. Slept all day. Yeah. If things yeah. Finished, you, you were, were you paying that, right? I was going to go out and go crawling today. I'm going to try tomorrow morning. And we got some thunderstorms coming in right now. It's like, what the hell? Yeah. Woke up at one thirty, fell back asleep for a couple hours, and yeah, that's what I did too. Woke up again, <laughs> fell back asleep a couple hours. <laughs> that's what I did too. <laughs> <laughs> Felt awesome. <laughs> I got to do a bunch of stuff tomorrow. Got to go to Best Buy, and, or, or yeah, get a not a computer, but a look. A printer, and you know, got to go to the grocery store and shit. Mm. HEB, pharmacy, you know, I got to go to the yeah. pharmacy every other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that damn Kenny Stone calmed down. Yeah, how's that going? I don't know if I passed it or not, but it's calmed down at least. That's good. Yeah. You got Netflix? Yeah. You want uh there's a good movie, Dams Dams Damsel? Damsel. Damsel? It's a, Damsel? Yeah. It's a girl. Like damsel in distress or yeah. Like, okay. You know the girl that played on Stranger Things? Uh, you ever watch Stranger Things? Sounds familiar, but she, that was a Which series. Girl? Which girl? The main girl. The one that the one that played Eleven. Yeah, Eleven. She's in it. Badass dragon man. It, it, I think it's one of the best movies I've seen with a dragon. Dragon is badass. I have to check that out. Maybe the kids will watch that. Is it is it good for the kids? Yeah, it's good for the kids. Yeah, the, oh, oh, no, I'll be back in a little bit. Yeah. It's a good movie for the kids or a bad movie for the kids? It's good. There's not good. really no swearing or anything like that. There's a little oh, bit okay. of, you know, there's a dragon, so there's a little bit of fire and oh, yeah. Yeah. blood and stuff. But but I think it's the best dragon movie I've seen. Hmm. How they made the fire. They made the fire. It was like kind of liquid you know it wasn't just regular fire kind of liquidy yeah. fire yeah it's okay. friggin hey tank hey guys it's puff the magic dragon not pete the magic dragon yeah that yeah, was a good movie puff the, the dragon <laughs> movie with the with the with the Latin. that girl you watched oh, yeah. it and my wife really enjoyed it and i enjoyed yeah. it i think it was one of the best dragon movies there i've seen yeah, the dragon is very well made. I I, right. I loved what they did with the dragon and how they did the dragon. Right. And it was scale, too. Yeah. I think a dragon is about that big. Hmm. It's bad what happened to the dragon, but, you know. But the flames were awesome, too. What you do today, Tank? Anything? I finished, well, worked on the electronics of this. It's ready to go. It rolls. It runs, uh, ready to give to the client. And um, now I just got to paint the panels, the other panels, which I've been saying for two weeks now. That's the, that's the aluminum panels? Yeah, right now it's the aluminum panels. And he gave yeah, me some okay. Oh, I see it back there. Yeah, yeah I can see yeah. it back there. Been working on that six by six, I mean, the, the mammoth? Uh, no, I have not done any work on that in a bit. I got to put my courage up together to keep to using the it. airbrush. Yeah. 
Yeah, painting that's going to be uh, pretty intense, I think. And I'm starting to do high blood pressure. So now I got a machine. I got to take my high blood pressure every night to make sure everything's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it run? Do you, can I, can you, if you don't mind me asking you. What is it? What do you mean? How, what is it? How, what's your blood pressure run? How high is it? Uh, I took a picture of it earlier because I can never remember those freaking things. Yeah. <laughs> 130, 78, 86. Yeah. That's not too, too bad, man. I'm just, just over the just green not. bar. I'm in the yellow, not in the red. So yeah, yeah. Don't uh, they're gonna give you any pills? Don't take any pills, man. Just <laughs> exercise, lose some weight. It'll drop it. Lose some weight? Are you calling me fat? No. <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's a fact. If I see it, if you lose weight, it lowers your blood pressure. Lots of shit you can do other than pills, man. What are you, John? What you been doing? You're muted, I think. Who? Were you talking? Yeah, John's muted. Don't. I thought you loved pills. Yeah, but not blood pressure pills. <laughs> nope. Yeah, y'all sit in line for four hours for pills. Yeah. Oh, he left because he, uh, John was having technical difficulties. Like I was for the first 10 minutes of the live. <laughs> I think Brad has something to do with your blood pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> only on only on Thursdays. On Thursdays, <laughs> yeah. Check it on Thursdays, thing. <laughs> True, I should check it on Thursdays. Uh, yeah. That'd be funny. You got oh a gosh, uh, wrist one? Roof. You got a wrist one? Wrist machine? It's not a wrist, it's uh oh, it's a cuff, yeah. The cuffs are better, they give you better readings. <sighs> How about you, Josh? You got blood pressure issues from that uh all your good uh people talking to you? <laughs> oh, I had blood pressure issues before that. Yeah. <laughs> Say something, John. Nope. We didn't want to hear you tonight anyways, John. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta paint this up, Kurt. <laughs> That's my middle finger. I thought it'd be a lot wider. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, I got the semi maybe I'll do that right now. If I can find another uh let me back in a second. Talk among yourselves, even though you're not talking. Swappers, night bot's a dick in this one. Yes. <laughs> you can't like do nothing wrong in out. chat. You even timed out big head. <laughs> JD said, so what did they tell you, Josh? Oh, one guy said I uh, don't take responsibility for my own actions. I should have read all the comments. Oh. That was the last comment. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm like, cool. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, who's that? Honey. <laughs> Keebler's wife. Oh, honey, Lulu. Yeah, she got on there and commented like, "No, nope, I was right there." It was BS. Because <laughs> she was sitting there with a the cowbell.
which All almost right. drove, which almost drove uh, Exocage insane. <laughs> I should keep bringing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's sitting there trying to do video. It was funny. I could, I could see her doing that too. Yeah, Dwayne says they replied to all our comments. Yep. And it's they done. deleted their post with the rules. <laughs> That's sad when you delete your post. Yeah. Because you know you're wrong. John, it's just the theme of the night. Technical difficulties. So. Yeah. I was going to say jump out, John, and jump back in. See if that worked. It did. Oh, did you it? tried that already? <laughs> uh, like I said, we didn't want to hear you anyways. Yeah. I sign language <laughs> <from> earlier. <laughs> oh, man. I got to get some more of this stuff. Please? Oh, my uh, stuff finally came in. My uh, glass remover. <laughs> to my uh, glass remover or or paint remover. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, did that you work? Know. Yep. There we it's go. Good. We're having a lot of technical difficulties on this today. Well, it's it, it was, it's unbelievable. I could hear you guys. Everything had video. All I did was just unplug the camera, plug it back in. Yeah. I just hope you're not having feedback, feedback, feedback. Hello. No, hello, there's no hello, reverb, hello. Reverb, 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 reverb. It was like a delay. It was like a delay. That's because it was yeah. YouTube playing off you the had delay. YouTube on again, yeah. probably in the background. Somehow. You That's all it was, on. and then it got you flustered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you made Tracy try to help you. And then he called. And then, he, and then it was me. Kirk, can you please come in here? Help me. Help me. Here, let's, let's, give, let's, give, let's give him some delay. You, uh, you ended that uh, interview just at the right time because that burrito was... Uh, <laughs> it's percolating, was it? Working on me. And I only <laughs> ate less than half of it. It's a giant fucking burrito. <laughs> Where'd you go, Taco Bell? No, no, it's a taco truck uh, called Taco Zell Afro. Got a giant Worse. skull with an afro <laughs> on, it. on the side of their truck. Great food. They even have uh, vegan tacos with jackfruit that my son got. Of course, they were vegetarian. He put cheese on them. <laughs> <laughs> Is cheese vegetarian? Vegetarian. Yeah. Oh, it's not, it's vegan, not vegan, no. Right. Yeah, it's not vegan. It's vegetarian. None of my kids are vegan anymore. They're vegetarian. Yeah. What's the difference? Uh, vegans won't eat anything from an animal at all or even take uh, take medication that's in gel caps because it's got whatever crushed up bug bones or some shit that they make with the gelatin. To... It goes too extreme in my opinion, but you know will they uh eat eggs vegetarians um, vegetarians yeah yeah but not vegans yeah no. but every one of my kids used to enjoy like kentucky fried chicken and uh i cook chicken and things on the grill and steak and okay you are you are hannah hey doing goodness Kind of Carnivore, Kirk. You ain't cooking nothing. No. <laughs> I thought this was What's green. up, gentlemen? It's fucking gray. What's up, sir? Chilling, How y'all doing? All right. Not too bad. Going. Still Ooh. trying to process that Thundering interview. Thundering out there. <laughs> <laughs> It was the first interview, man. You never, you never, have you ever watched any of his uh, videos there? Dennis? Oh yeah, 
Yeah. There you go. It was pretty calm. It was Duckman was calm tonight. So, yeah. Some of the videos you want to go and take a happy pill. There's a little <laughs> out there. <laughs> he was calm because of the shit we had going on. All the crap yeah, he shit. Was, he was flustered. Yeah. Duckman was flustered. <laughs> Did you guys see the what's the thing in the WhatsApp I showed you with with Tyson's all the freaking rules? That's crazy. Were they going to be wearing I, gloves? I don't. Tyson know. can't wear a uh, face mask, but the other guy can. I don't know if that. I have to read that though. Don't listen to that. You got to find the actual document. If once oh, you read yeah. it, you know what I'm saying. Don't listen to that crap unless you Especially see it. They show up with their tires. <laughs> what were you saying, Tank? Don't listen to all the things you hear on Facebook or social media. Especially this live earlier, the interview portion. Don't listen to that shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most of us didn't. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're, oh, it's out there now. So you can listen to it later when you can't sleep tonight. There's Jason tempting me with a cigar. Oh, yeah. This is the Nicaraguan I'm smoking tonight. Yeah, buddy. It's going to be a, a walking Roll dead. Roll on the thighs finger. of a Latin. It's going to be a walking dead middle finger. It's going up. <laughs> I'm actually going to go visit uh, Emporium tomorrow. Go check out a bunch of cigars and different stuff. Cigar Emporium. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. They uh, don't have the best one in this area. Do they have wine? <clears throat> I mean, they got wine tasting. They got like cigar tasting. I would imagine probably not, or maybe they do lounge things where you can come there for a lounge and try something, and then come back another day and try something different. Something else, I would imagine yeah. something like that probably pay a set yeah. fee or something. Bill likes your digit, Keith. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is one of the infamous Kurtz 3D printing. Oh, those are collector's yeah. items now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I need to sell I, this I, on the... I got the fan, though. Is it working? I just need to put it in. Uh, see if disappointed in UFC tonight. Oh, were you? Yeah, my boy lost, man. He got yeah, choked yeah. out. Bam Bam Tai Tui Just because yeah, of the name. Nah, he got, he got, well, he got out. choked out. <laughs> bam Bam Bigelow. My boy Joey should be fighting sometime, hoping to get on a card this year. Is, who's that, Josh? You got a... Josiah Harrell. You got a friend? He played football. He played football for me. Oh. At, at Licking Heights, and uh, he is supposed to fight, and then the uh, pre-fight um, medical evaluation, they he found a weird brain disease Ugh. called like Moya Moya. So he had brain surgery, and he uh, good to go once he covered gets all back in shape. That's good. Yeah, they've been. I mean, he was pretty healthy to begin it. with. After that, yeah, I mean, he was. He was already cut weight. He was the last medical evaluation, and they found it. Yeah, that sucks, man. But the, I'm glad they found well, it. At least they it found it, right? Yeah. You got to get exactly. Hit. Well, I did some tire hit. stuff today. What the fuck? He puts high racks on the CJ7 now with dual stage foams. Got a, the ones I was telling you guys about in the group chat. Put those on the finally. Racks. Yeah, and then uh, I swapped the real over ones? the trenchers. Yeah, the Pro Line high racks. Yeah, they're good tires. I got to pick them. And I put the Pro Line trenchers on the stock rims. So if I ever want to just try them out or mess around or somebody wants to use them or something, they can try those right. out. Doing a little testing tune, like hang out at a buddy's house. You guys might have seen a video where I was in a dude's backyard and he's got a little crawler course set up. Um, got invited to his house tomorrow to hang out and do some testing tunes. So he's going to have a bunch of tables set up so you can work on your stuff. Supposed to be like close to sixty degrees tomorrow, so it should be nice out. 
you know, have you a couple like brewskis, and uh, just hang out and work on your stuff, whatever you need to tune on it, that kind of thing. Then and try it out, out again. There. Yeah. And rocks out there, you'll like the high racks. And I've had my high racks for a long time, and they're just like still brand new. Yeah, I got these suckers for 20 bucks. I was like, heck yeah, I'll take those. Barely even used either. Wow, man. Yeah. Yeah, the dude has a whole bunch of stuff, though. So he's like, yeah, I'll just, I'll give them to you for 20 bucks. All right. Fair enough. He sold me a, uh, we, well, we traded. Um, what did I trade him? I traded him a set of the, uh, the spindles I was trying to get rid of. The weighted spindles are like 70, 62 grams or something like that each. And uh, he was like, yeah, I want those spindles. He was like, I got a lipo, 2S uh, Spectrum lipo in great condition, 5,000 milliamp hours. I tested it and everything. And it was a good trade because uh, those spindles were about 32 new. That battery's like freaking 40, 40 bucks new. So I was like, all right, I'll take it. When you guys Not put that. weight on down low, I mean, you put uh, yeah, yeah. Un, un, rotational weight. weight. Yeah. You guys use a uh, uh, rotational weight or like the brass? As little as possible rotational weight, but you yeah. use it on the axle. You use it pretty much anywhere. But if you can't, then yes, put it on your wheels. But you do yep. have to be careful. They yep. break the hubs, right? Or especially if it's like. Uh, they got portal axles, right? That's not good for the portal axles. Yeah, so like people put a brass portal axle cover, like the cover over the portal. Yeah. That's oh, okay. Or the entire put that on their brass, or the whole portal will be brass, or brass links, or your spindle brass. You know, yeah, your okay. your wheel hex sometimes. It's like a smaller part of it that would be rotational, but your wheel hex could be brass. What, what, do, you, what do you think most of the rims are steel? Yeah. Yep, add that because, little bit of weight to because it because the brass is heavier. A little, it's it's heavier, and it's gonna put that's gonna put all kinds of drag on your drivetrain, and they'll go right <laughs> after your motor and ESC, and there's your electronics. Yeah, yep. I didn't even think your about servo why burnout, that. your servo burnout, all that stuff, man. <laughs> Some more stuff you add, you know, stronger you got to make everything else. Like I said, yeah. not only that, but a, a, a metal rim will take a little bit better hit than a brass rim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so rock chip, right? Or bend. Yeah. Distorted. It's real malleable. Mm -hmm. So, like, for me, like, on my CJ, I have I do have inner wheel weight on it. Then I have the, the brass spindle. And then a brass wheel hex, but it all works out because I don't do anything extreme. Um, I move slow all the time. It's not... Not really much of an issue. I put the fusion motor in there, so that's holding up great. And I put a stronger servo, so everything's good. I did realize I need to beef up the uh, the panhard bar. That sucker started bending on me from the added weight. It's real light from stock, easy to bend. So I'm thinking about buying something for that to beef that up. Somebody gave me an idea with all thread. Yeah, all thread and a piece of brake tube over it. It's a little bit stronger, but if you can find somebody that can make you a brass link for it, do the brass. I think I already found it. Yeah. I, think I, found I brass froze link. big time. Hey, sorry, do there. you want to be... I'm going to make you host because I'm getting a really bad thunderstorm. So if my computer goes... Okay, Sarge? That's cool. Yeah, either me or anybody. It don't matter. Yeah, I'll be on here for a while. Yeah, yeah you'll be on here for a little while. So, yeah, it's my computer just went... So I didn't even hear what Dennis was saying. So, oh, Dennis was talking about. I was all saying I had a a uh, idea for all three, and he said that'll work, but not as strong as like if you were to have somebody make you a brass one, maybe a little bit stronger and adds a little bit of weight. Right. I mean, with like or something steel. You know what I mean? Now, like what Josh and I do with our comp trucks. Rotation yeah. isn't a big factor with that. Because you're just going because you're, slow, right? There, right. There's no yeah. real speed to it. Yeah, that's what I do all the time. I don't use anything that requires any right. wheel speed, so I don't care I mean, about the brass being in the wheels and stuff. There's some guys yeah. that we know that have put brass 
everywhere on their trucks. <laughs> I've seen it out there on the rocks a lot. Sometimes too much is mm-hmm. too much. Yeah, you know, overkill. You know, less is less is more. I don't yeah. know if you heard me, but is it really? I mean, is there really a lot of weight difference between brass and metal? Or steel? oh yeah. No. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, there is. Oh, big difference. There's a huge difference. There is. Yeah, and I'm telling you, just yeah. from the few things I've done to that CJ from stock, it is a a whole different truck in performance. It is crazy, just from adding brass. Just from adding brass, and not steel. Yeah. Nope. Just from adding brass parts, and it's done quite a bit well. Whereas, like. From stock, it just it just tips over all the time because it's not really stock made to do any of the stuff that I'm trying to do with it. So you have to customize it. So I took yeah, it from being a standard is... ass trail to actually being able to climb stuff, and it's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, your 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 Jeep is climbs a lot of good shit, man. Yeah, it just all depends on what you're doing with your truck. If you trail yep. it and, and crawl certain spots, you know, rocks and roots or whatever, yeah, then you can get away with just doing minimal. But if, if you're just going out there to, to crawl rocks, you got to think about where you're putting the weight. Yeah. And how much you want to put on it. For sure. Like Dwayne said in his video with his running his SCX6, you don't want the back end getting ahead of the front end. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Once the back end, you do overdrive on it. You haven't done that yet. Only if you're oval racing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, you haven't tried any overdrive in anything yet. Not yet. I, I will though eventually. I haven't done it yet. Yeah, like the Red Cat Ascent that comes with a ten or twenty percent underdrive that you can put in. Okay, so and- underdrives the rear. Right, it'll underdrive the rear. And I put the 20% in, and it helps with the steering like you wouldn't believe. I bet. But Dennis, one time I put bigger tires on, my, next mod. on my truck. You know, I had the uh, SEX-10-2 trail honcho, and I put big tires on the truck, on the back, and left the small ones on the front. Isn't that overdriving? Underdriving? You're overdriving the rear. Overdriving the rear, so it's pushing. Everybody was screaming at me. Take them off! They're going to ruin the transmission. Da, 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 yeah, you'll, da. you'll break something like that. Mm-hmm. When when you have more gearing in the back than you do the front, you'll have a tendency to break stuff. Oh, shut up, JD. Okay. <laughs> what JD you talking about? Body class. They look fucking cool, man. I was <laughs> I was about ready to take the just have it two wheel drive, but it was a long, long time ago. See if I, can bring up I mean, think about it. Do you ever see anything that's four wheel drive and jacked up with bigger tires on the rear than you do on the front? No, they're all the same. Right. And that's so they don't blow anything apart. Yeah. But you can oversteer the front then. And that don't, yeah, you that overdrive doesn't hurt don't. it. Depends on how much overdrive you put in. Yeah. Because there is a point where you can put too much. The most I have in any of my trucks is 30%. And that's only for competition. I I will not trail it because it it will start to overheat the electronics. Growing up, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like it'll overheat some stuff. You go fast, right? You got to go slow, trail. I mean, rock, events, you go slow. You're not really. You start going down a trail, trail, man. You're going to heat up. It's only designed for short distance. Right. Yeah. Show you guys how it looks with the high racks on here. Because when I go to beat the creek, I'm going to end up taking that underdrive out and just put it back to stock gearing for the trail. Yeah. Oh, high racks. Looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm enjoying it. What's up, Kagan? Hey, uh, Green Frog, your next interview. You won. <laughs> <clears throat> you're, 
number two. You I know you don't you go it. live too much, but you said you'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> you pulled his card, huh? Yep, I pulled his card. Oh. Coming up next. And by then, I'll probably, hopefully, I'll have all the technical issues worked out. I think I'll take the gladiator out tomorrow, too, to my buddy's house. See how it does out there on his little course. I didn't drive it last time. Do some tuning on that. And, I mean, it's already pretty much set up. I just, I just take it out and just run it. I just have a good time with it. It does pretty well everywhere I take it. It's very crazy. Yeah, I'm working on a couple of videos. And Tracy and I did some bashing out here in the front yard. With the Gorgon in the nice. stampede. I got I the two S on the stampede. Oh, nice. Did you get the radio figured out that was giving you problems? On the Bandit? No, I haven't drove the Bandit since it's been messing up. Yeah, I still got to get that out. I'm, like I said, I'm just throwing some things back into the box. Hey, I get that buggy yeah, to go with this, huh? Stuff. Yeah, you do. Get that little buggy to go with this stuff. Yeah. That's right. I'm... Waiting for yeah, mine buddy. to come in. You ordered it? Are they I, shipping yet or I no? Called J, I, I called JJ Customs. I wanted one, so I'm just getting them. Oh, you got the, the other to, uh, one that goes I'm with it. Break my, I have to break my rule for that one because if they come out with a series of these things, I'm getting all of them. Right. <laughs> That's what no I'm saying. More buying, <laughs> no more buying year. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, guess I should have paid attention up, to which see, one came a... out of where, didn't I? God damn it. That was dumb. Did you get the oh. printer going again? Shit. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> uh, uh. After just hearing that, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was not marked. It's going to be running for a while. <laughs> How stupid. Why would they mark that? I think it's color to color, Kurt. At no least color on the comes... Manga. It so comes like out the of color a... on the, the color on your plug for the fan is probably there the same no color. Plug. It's a, it's not a plug. It's an unscrew. Mm. Wow. I'm uh, sorry. New IP I haven't had yet. I was waiting um, for it to say that all the wires are black. <laughs> mm. oh, China, okay. the CNHL batteries are on sale. Uh, site wide right now. That. Like pretty that. That's a good sale too. Man. I just I put the link in the chat. It's a hell of a sale that's going on right now. Yeah, I grabbed a couple four S's. You know how long it runs? When does it uh, expire? Uh I can't remember how long it runs. It says a spring sale. Because I might get some this week coming up. Kurt, you still don't know if it's hot or not, right? Yeah, I do. There's a little marking on the other side. Oh, okay. I figured it That's out. Good. Below your here, fan here's the date. This is exclusive sale. Hmm. Okay. They're usually only a week or so, I think. And you get a free battery if you spend 130 bucks. Hmm. Buy so, hundred and three dollars worth of batteries and get another one for free. Exactly. That's actually well, not that bad of a deal. Yeah, that's actually a good deal. You can you rack up for probably spent that much so almost anyways. Yeah. yeah. Buy six, get one free. Six? Four S? A couple four S will put you over a hundred bucks real quick. <laughs> right. You can get two of the four S's. I got the 120 C fifty two hundreds. For seventy five hundreds, damn. What's are they a good brand? Oh, my battery's died. Dang it! What brand batteries are they, Josh? Uh, GNHL. 
what does that stand for? China National Hobby Line or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. So they're pretty good batteries. Yeah, they're actually, a ground battery on the charger. They're actually a good company. Keith, how did you get Tracy to help you with the with the Zoom this, at the beginning? Did she hear you throwing a fit? No, I asked her before. Oh. You could help me. Yeah, she sounded all calm. She was on e uh, e Emu or whatever that thing is, trying to buy shit. Oh, Timu. Uh, Timu. Timu. She's like, oh, well, I want to get this for Karen, but I need to buy. I'm like, well, buy a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't buying no more knives for you. You hate when you take shit apart and you can't remember how to put it back together? Yes. I take pictures. Problem is, when you took that apart, it was a couple of weeks ago, right? Yeah, and I was yeah, pissed. That's even fucking fuck worse. It. And you were pissed too, right? I can't do that. Well, I can. I can, but I do not prefer to do that. I try to do everything in one sitting when I can. Right. Well, uh, we ain't all like you, Sergeant J. You know, it's it's it's, I, it's I, I watch it, taking something apart and leaving it there. I yeah, can't do that. That's hard to do. It's not like two hard of to us haven't together. seen a vehicle in a Ziploc bag in a <laughs> right, buddy. Oh man. Yep, that'll do it to you. I know it sits right in here somehow, but I don't know how exactly. Yeah, if I do that, I definitely take try to take pictures of it. I wasn't even thinking that here. though when I took it apart. You were, you were thinking. Is there like a manual, like exploded views or any of that shit? Bitch. I don't know. I have to try to find it. Oh, okay. All Some guy was hitting me up about. Uh, I posted those parts to the promo to all the stock crap that I'm not going to use. Um, I posted it on eBay and this guy starts messaging me about it. And he's like, "Hey, I'm trying to build one from scratch. And like, what else am I going to need?" And I was like, "Go to Horizon and download the manuals for free." You can take all the stuff I'm selling you if you buy it from me, and then you can figure out everything else you need and part it, price, price it all out. So why not just go get the manual if that's what you're trying to do? It's free. People don't want to read manuals, man. That's too much work. That's what Tank says all the time. Read the F manual. RTFM. Oh, I got this fucking thing upside down is what it is. The hell, how's that possible? Oh. There's one problem. <laughs> Is that possible? I read the damn manual and still get shit wrong. You can't read. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, you bought that. <laughs> Nightbot doesn't like it when we type in caps. No. No. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. He, he doesn't like yeah. it. Yeah. Hates no. Because I'll go in there and like, what's up? And caps and get banned. I'll get put on timeout immediately. Like, what is going on here? Yep. No cap. I have no idea how that three gets set up. emojis. That's it. If you do four emojis, you get whacked with the wrench. That wasn't me setting that up. I think John set that up. No, it was, it was. It was. Where Where do you My want nephew. it, Keith? Where do you want it, Keith? That was what that was. Oh. Look at Kurt doing surgery over here. <laughs> How can that thing work? It's all apart. Doesn't feel right. I know it goes like that somehow, though. Still have the manual? <laughs> the first thing you throw mad, away. The mad lab. You said the, ca the cat's over there looking at you like, what the hell are you doing, bro? So yeah. Somebody's going to get a, 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 a 3D printed delivered to them all in pieces. Yeah, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Put that joint in a Ziploc for me, man. I got you. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right, you're gonna send it. I'll send it to you like I sent, like Brad sent it to you. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I'll get it back to you, ninety percent complete. <clears throat> uh, did he ever put Top it back? To that? Nope. I gave I gave it back to him like ninety five percent complete. Nope. I still did him a favor, even though I was pissed off. Mm. I built the thing from just vision. Looking at it, this goes here, this goes here. All right, cool. This one goes here like this. Then I looked at a picture of it online. I was like, all right, it looks like that goes like that. Bam. Put it back in the box. Back to you. Have fun with it. All you got to do is mount the motor and stuff and you sh and your electronics and you should be good. Hey, Kurt. Never said, touched it. Dwayne said, do not still still get trying to talk me into finishing it. it. Unplug what? Unplug the printer. Yeah, unplug the printer. It's too late it's for that. Working. Well, Sorry. do it now. You're gonna be like that dude on uh, he makes uh, I forgot. Oh, <laughs> oh, that the guy uh, that does all that electrical stuff, and he's always like, "Bah!" <laughs> <laughs> he, he does, he does it, he's literally doing it on purpose. But don't do oh, it. Yeah. Don't do it, Kurt. I want to see some zaps. <laughs> I'm like, I really get some ratings on my, my YouTube channel. Thanks, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all for the views, Kurt. It's all for I the know, views. right? <laughs> Kurt, I still ain't even ran that dang monster truck yet. The, the 14 MT. Still haven't ran it yet, man. It's on the <laughs> shelf waiting. I think I'm going to take the paddles off. Uh, Well, actually, not off of here because I don't need to take them off this one. I can take the little paddles that came with that uh the hyper go, throw them on. Throw them on that monster truck and see how it does. Actually, you know what? It's small enough that these would fit. Okay. I'm try them out. Try them out tomorrow morning. Even dudes. Kagan, What's up, you're Kagan? next on the interview well, block. Yes. I am yes. number two. You are number two. But nobody's going to remember you because everybody remembers the first. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> For the best. Maybe I'll have technical difficulties like on Dennis's interview. My power will go out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden. Oh, <laughs> Did Dennis have issues? Well, we all know he has issues, but I mean... No, I did. Yeah, Kagan yeah, lost his power that night we interviewed him. Okay. Sat in the dark, chatting for like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and then we finished it up in last week. <clears throat> <clears throat> Made it work, all though. Right. Yep. Dwayne, are you happy now? I unplugged it. <laughs> <laughs> Now you got me all scared. That was going to be the part on Keith's show where someone almost died. Yeah. Hey, we still got we still got chances here, guys. Come on. Please your bet. Please your bet. We, yeah. You know. <laughs> winner, winner. So Keith, your little bottle of thing. What is it written on it? What's written on it? Paint Let remover it. or paint thinner? Let me go get it. It says paint <laughs> thinner. Oh, you got the wrong one again. Mm -hmm. well, I got twice as much. Yeah, right. Third time's the charm, right, Keith? Get it. What screw goes in what hole? <laughs> last one goes in the last. Right. Y'all seen that lava you know. flowing in, uh, in Iceland? So it's two crazy. 10 millimeters and one four millimeter. Stick your screwdriver in there and find out. And then two more four millimeters. I don't know. I don't know where the fuck those came from. Can you check like a depth gauge? Use a smaller, smaller screwdriver and stick it in there for depth. Um. Yeah. I guess I could probably do my little. Yeah, a little one, one point five. five millimeter. Huh? See if that yeah. works. Good idea, Kagan. I knew we That's what I have to do when I take reason. screws out and don't 
don't look at the manual. I got to start. <laughs> drop the page, you know. No, it's 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 called. Oh crap! I got to fix this quick. Oh, where did this screw come from? Yeah, right. <laughs> no. I don't want to drive it through the plastic. Uh. It's just a flush wound. How many pallets are you up to, Keegan? Oh, hundreds. No, a hundred, <laughs> probably about 120 or something still like that. muted. Oh. Oh. Who's muted? Can you see body it? cleaner? It's body cleaner. That's not the right stuff. It said paint remover. It said paint remover body cleaner. It will work, but it's not as aggressive as the other one. But it will work. The body cleaner will work. I seen yeah. this other video of the guy we uh, sanded it down ago, right? with, with fifteen hundred, no, and then just buffed it out. Don't sand. Don't sand mm -hmm. it. No. It leaves scratches. And plus, yeah, you it's tear that a thing big up, bottle man. like this. Yours just says paint remover. No, this one is actually airbrush cleaner, but my oh. paint remover is the same size as that one. Yeah, this is the only size I could get, and it took two months to get it. Yeah, it's a damn. Me a size? That's like this damn Grom, man. I, I ordered those diffs two months ago, and you know what Horizon did? They charged me sure. for them, shipped them, and then charged me the next week again for them. And I'm like, yo. And put out a new RD, the money. same diffs in it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I couldn't find that at all. Paint remover. They couldn't ship you them because they had to put them in their new RCs. Jesus. Exactly. That's why. Right. Right. But the, 100%. The, the one you got will work also. I see yeah. people use it and it's it's similar, but not quite. Well, y'all better refund my damn money. Swampers are saying that's for overspray. Yeah, that's like that good cleaner to take that off. Or popping yes. a puppy or something, maybe. Yeah. JD says, Sonny Keith, to go I find his know. balls. Good one, Tank. <laughs> but those little diffs, those upgraded discs for the ground, they actually worked out pretty well. I like them. Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, you they finally got them. Metal. Yeah, they have metal L drives on them, the metal ring gear, and everything's metal inside. Let's so. Get the paint. 3,000 CST oils in them. Yeah, I haven't broke my Hoppers wants to know how many ounces tank or milliliters. That's good, Kurt, that you haven't broken any of your 150, you said. Yeah. 250. Because I told him one of mine up real quick, but I was doing stupid stuff, so it makes sense for me to break them. Did I drop the one here? I was making that thing do stuff I had no business doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just doing little jumps and stuff. I'm not... Yeah. Since then, I've tamed it. I haven't done none of that crazy stuff. Got a couple of jumps in the snow today. That was pretty cool. The little paddles on it. You got snow where you are. Oh, yeah. We got How dumped on, dude. Do I, you live? Man. I had nine inches of snow over this weekend. Crazy. Now it's all melting off today and tomorrow. It'll be by Monday. It'll probably all be gone. Tuesday, oh, Monday, Tuesday. God. But uh, yeah, we got a lot. Some places got up to three feet. I'm in. I'm in. I guess you would call it central Colorado, kind of, I don't know, you, the, when you're talking Denver and Colorado Springs, they're all, like, you're at a mile altitude plus, so, above sea level. So, there's a lot of different types of storms that come through here, so we get some pretty good snow sometimes, it's crazy. All the way up until, like, June, you can get snow here. So, your whole community is members of the Mile High Club? Basically. <laughs> We're a little over 6,000 feet here. Yep, we certainly are. Different, man, running and all that stuff. And Look at you smoking some guy like badass. <laughs> Doesn't even phase him. Hey, you don't, you don't inhale these. So it's right, if it, no, no, it's just for the flavor. Yeah. All these cats out here are smoking a whole bunch of joints and stuff. I'm like, man, I don't know how y'all do it. Are you trying the uh, paint remover, Keith? No, I'm just... Okay. Uh, he's I'm he's huffing it. <laughs> Not as harsh on the lungs. Yeah. What, what kind of beer are you drinking? Is that that new IPA you're talking about? Yeah, it's a Voodoo Ranger one. It's called Cat Cash, Cashmere or something. 
I swear they come out with a new one every week. Casmerize, Casmerize, is what it's called. Yeah, Casmerize. <laughs> Bold swagger, citrus flavors, and an exceptionally smooth finish. Keep it classy with Casmerize IPA, seven point five. Pretty good. That was <clears> I tried a ten percent or the other night. I was like, "Holy crap!" Had ten percent alcohol on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little oh, like, oh, 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 come on! It's it's not good until you get into the twelves and thirteens, right? Right. <laughs> Three or four beers, and you got to really pay attention to how much you're drinking that crap because it, yeah. it can be really. Well, well why, what what do you think they only sell it in four packs? Yep. Uh-huh. Only four packs, man. And if you go to a bar, they only give you they only give it to you in a small glass. No, we don't do those in the tall. No way. Oh, it's twenty percent. They tried you less, I I hope too. Oh hell no. 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 <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey Kegel, let's just say if some of these four packs can go like twenty, twenty five bucks a four pack, if not more. Yeah. Yep. You're talking seven, eight dollars a beer. Wow. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, I guess we, the mats when you <clears throat> when I work for concessions, I know all beers are more expensive when you're at a concession stand at a stadium, but when you get the IPA at the stadium, it's even worse. It's like, yeah. what the hell? At the hockey people are paying for this? We, hockey rink here <clears throat> pay seventeen fifty for beer. Oh yeah. That's crazy. That's more than an airport price. That's crazy. Just go steal somebody else's beer and then run away. Seventeen dollars and fifty cents <laughs> for a beer. Wow. One What's up, Eric? What's up? Make a straw and start drinking people other people's beers. Yeah, you get, out, you get out and go to the local corner store. Corner store, you buy a case of twenty-four beers for about the same price. Or selling to people sure. for yep. ten bucks. Yep. Yeah, my old delirium glass. Mm-hmm. Interesting, bro. Uh, I'm not kind of you're going to make curvy. me to get one. Oh, John's ready to sip one, too, now. So, so. We lost Dirk. No, no. <laughs> Eric, welcome in. It's good to hear, you, hear from you. Arms up. Arms up. <laughs> We pat you on the back. Forward to some <laughs> backyard crawling tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. Got a cough to get off, man. Exactly. Oh, you know what I need to do? I accidentally unbound oh, yeah. my gladiator from my DX5 rugged, so I need to rebind it and get it set back up. So that's probably well, something I should do now. Uh, rugged, right? Touchscreen. Oh, uh, that's all is it Android based like the original? Uh, I, I I don't know, but I was just thinking, what if you're out and it rains and you hit the touch screen? They have something. There's something in it that where it should still work. I, I think it's capacitive touch or something like that. I don't know. There's something where it's supposed to still work in the in inclement weather. I didn't look too deep into it though. I already don't like the the way that the original one works, and I still have that, but I'm not getting nothing new anytime soon, so it still works for what I needed to do, but I get it's a pain in the ass. Cause I got the old school oh, yeah, where you, you gotta slide you gotta slide your finger around and sometimes yeah, it works, sometimes it doesn't. You should act stupid. It's a pain in the ass, but it, it does the job. I mean, once you get it set up, it works really great. I was finishing up the electronics for the Capra over here, and I put the battery in it, and I hit the gas, and it goes backward. I go, oh, man. So then oh, I, put, I put the programmer to reverse the motor, only to find out it doesn't, you can't reverse the motor on the 1080. You can't tell it to be reversed. So I had to pull the mm-hmm. whole thing apart just to unsolder it and solder it back in. Anyways. Bang. I should have learned. I should know better by now that before closing anything, just put a battery and just check if you got it on the right one. Just a light bulb I got on a trade. Oh shit! It's a nice cool. little light bulb. Mm-hmm. Throw that in the gladiator. Might as well work on this now. 
Yeah, that'll run for a while. Go ahead, Eater. Go ahead, oh, yeah. Probably didn't see it was eight US. there today. It'll run for a while. I'll be getting like two, two and a half hours out of these 5,000 packs. Just running very, uh, very slow, just climbing around, having a good time. Not too crazy, not a lot of driving, like, from spot to spot. Beer is stupid like at an NFL game. Bill, when's the last time you've been to an NFL game? <laughs> Who's this, Belichick? Leather helmets? <laughs> <laughs> Rain buckets? What's up, Nate? <clears throat> Uh, what do you do? What just wake up, Eric? You talking about the Buffalo Bill? Oh, allergies kicking my ass right now. Nah, and my wife's going through the allergy outside. thing right now too. Well, I did not too long ago out here. As soon as our so-called spring hit, you ain't got no damn spring here. Dirk says we'll join back up later. Keep you to jump out. Okay. Hopefully everything's okay. So if you can't afford putting a light on your RC truck, get a, a radio with a light built in. Buy a buy a light, a flashlight. Yeah, I know, buy a light bar. But if you can't buy a light bar, put it on the radio. The radio that comes with the red kit of hunt has one. Then you got to act like it's wired or something. You'll be real close to it here. This is the <laughs> tur Turbo Racing 7 channel. I need caffeine to be right back. That's pretty good. How's the battery last with the flashlight? I didn't, I don't know. I didn't check. Because it's not mine. It's, uh, it's buddy that owns the camera. It is a neat feature, if nothing else, to be able to have a light on the trail and not have to break out your phone. Are you guys like my, uh, my shoe goo repair my rear bumper? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. How did you manage to break the rear bumper like that? Oh, well, it drags a lot. So when you're out actually you're like climbing up stuff, a lot of times it drags and it catches on stuff. Oh, yeah. So eventually it started snapping pieces here and there and I just shoot them back on. Keep it moving. Hmm. Because most of it's metal and there's a few parts on here that are plastic, so Yep, I don't care. It adds character. It adds a scale look to it. A little weighted bumper. And then the uh <clears throat> the center skid I haven't ordered one yet. And it had a crack in here. So I just shoot glue that sucker. And it'll keep working. Mm -hmm. No issues. Until I put a metal one. My next my upgrade on that's gonna be a metal one. Taping a flash is an old school trick, JD says. Right to your RC. Yeah. Yep. Looks like back in the day when they didn't have waterproof ESCs and people would put a condom around it. Batter water balloons, balloons or anything. Yep. Put a water balloon around uh, it. I got a balloon in mine. Got a balloon in mine. Yes, sir. Right, let's get this battery up on here. Well, they're about to get all up in Goose Creek. Don't use a used condom, though. You want a fresh one. <laughs> you are talking about waterproof, right? right. <laughs> well, you could turn it inside out. True. Get your use out of it. Use it twice. Maybe, it, maybe it, it adhere itself that way, too. <laughs> 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 Come on, man. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, performance. I guess I guess that's really a different good. way to to grease the drive tree. <laughs> Everybody's speechless. <laughs> It is reversed, so let me fix my steering first. It is, it is a good question, though. Do you just put the receiver 
inside a condom, then you put it back in the battery box or in the receiver box. That's if your receiver didn't or have a box it. around it. Oh, I got Sometimes you. they didn't well, have it, they would just water water see it around it. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to just put them in a balloon, put a zip tie. I need to do that to the CJ. Put, uh, uh, put it in a box. On there and then tighten them up. Okay. All right, so you do you got to figure out all screw. these channels. <laughs> over your shoulder you an for extra good luck. Screw, Kurt. <laughs> yeah, you throw that over your left shoulder. Yeah. For good luck. What do you so do when wires are sticking out of the side of the panel that aren't supposed to be sticking out of the side of the panel? Motherfuck. Cut them. <laughs> extra. Oh. extra length you don't need. Just cut it off. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, the extra yeah. length is going to be out in the trash can here in a minute. Yeah, that ain't supposed to be like that. <laughs> Can you twist it or something before you put it in no, to eat up some of the line? It's yeah, it's wedged in there. I gotta undo the whole freaking thing now. Make sure you plug it back in if you're pl plugging with power. Playing okay. with power. Get good and sweaty. Right. Nothing like yeah, sweat no, dripping no, off no, your no. forehead as you're leaning over a circuit. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now. That thing's going to slide down the wall and crash. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be my good luck right there, Dennis, if I did that. That's when it's going to go out to the garage. <laughs> and then there will be get a little RC car to sit on it, and it'll be a little RC stand. Hey, you can use the. Oh, that's what I got. Hey, there, there, there you go. We'll, we'll, we'll print you, we'll print you some skids, and you can use the, the vertical axis, the lift. Right. Yeah, there's your, there's, there's your lift for your scale garage. Oh, that's all it was. Oh, I could have just pushed that through. I, I think uh, Kurt needs a four foot table to put his printer on. I think so too. You guys can send me one. <laughs> yeah, it's, you can plastic. Know. it's plastic. It'll vibrate like hell. You'll never have it balanced. Oh, there's the other one. That's where that is. Let's one find is. an easy open one for him. <laughs> so you take it apart and you find out yeah. where all the screws go. I'm done sending four foot cables to people. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I need oh, a I'm take them put the four foot table up. I have the exact same table and I do understand part of it. Some buttons to press that in are tough. really tight and it does slide down pretty hot pretty hard so and sometimes when tables are fresh it's, it takes a little while to break them in or whatever exactly because it you hasn't been up and down look, like i said right off from the start man that thing is a hey guys i gotta go all right see you later, see you later. Yeah. See you later. Hey, Josh, have a good night. safe travels yeah, yeah. thanks see you. Stay safe. Let's get that blood pressure down. Must have got caught. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think Kurtz need to get a Bamboo Labs printer. Yeah, right? Upgrade. Trade that in. Yeah. Trade it in, uh, Kurt. From what I've seen, they that trade looks like to use. I mean, <laughs> if I was going to get one, I'd probably go that way. If they don't trade. watch my channel, Kurt. Seems like they have the most Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that hardly ever are used properly. Oh. <laughs> hardly ever printed anything, right? Yeah, <laughs> used <I know>. once. <laughs> used really once. Didn't have to roll through it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gone through once. You know the Real oldest build that I've got sitting here has three D printed wheels on it. That right. was when three D printing was just getting started. Yeah, well, let's not talk about Bill and 3D printing. No. That's not a good combination. Well, yeah, it didn't work out so good for the F-350. <laughs> <laughs> not Bill's fault. He's in no, Florida. About some yeah. weather and I'm it look Florida. Looks crooked. You, you know, Bill, what's up, man? How you been? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. If you, you turn it upside down and put it back in the hot truck, we'll fix it.
<laughs> no, I didn't try that. That's that's a fun. <laughs> I was I was gonna I was gonna say here's here's what you do find a log the size of the dent in the where it melted in the roof there and just heat the other heat that other side just a little bit and just kind of make it look like a log fell on it a tree yeah that's an idea I I thought about doing something like that maybe maybe uh make some creases in it you know yeah. a little heat make some creases at the edges of the dent you know yeah put it back in your truck it'll it'll work out. <laughs> Looks like you got it'll be a puddle though if you did that yeah you wouldn't want it to be getting very hot that's for sure <laughs> i mean i've i've not i've never had anything warp or melt especially in florida with my pla i did i stuck some stuff on a piece of cardboard that had black spray paint and crap on it in front of one of my white garage doors to let it dry in the sun but and didn't realize didn't think about the heat of the and it didn't have full infill it was for a love and Char charlie project this this is one you can see the, the warping on the top of it uh, but i had rubber i had rubber you're, bands you're back you backdrop it. keegan yeah you can still see it enough it's as much as you're going to see and with a good picture anyway yeah I'll warp the top of it Yep, I had rubber bands on it as a cheap way to mask it, not thinking that it was going to also compress it when it got warm. Yeah, well, no, it didn't take much to. That's how, that's to how make we learned. We fucked stuff up. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that hot out that day. That's why I had it in the sun. It was probably like 60, 65 degrees or something. Yeah, it doesn't take much to get them warm. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> I just white this is one of the two that I did. The on 11 barrels there. Yeah. 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 Thought so. <laughs> I still got one sitting here. You know, that's the one thing I haven't printed yet is 55 gallon barrels. Surprised you haven't done those yet. Mm hmm. My next yeah, trailer is going to be a, uh, I have a, I found a, um, a water buffalo, a water trailer, water tank trailer. I'm going to print that out. Cool. Does it actually hold water? I can make it hold water, yeah. Be kind of neat. Because mm -hmm. I could, uh, all I got to do is just, uh, Make basically make a zero infill and just make my wall thickness thicker. So it'll, because it'll, if I do it right, I can write a G code in there to fill in any gap on the on the layers when I do it and just have a zero infill. Yeah, it could have water in it. Yeah. If you print it in two parts, you can actually clean it up pretty good. If you have support, you clean it up in two parts and then you glue it together. Yeah, I, I haven't looked at it yet. I haven't actually put it in a slicer to see how it's going to print out yet because I just got it. Uh, it was it about three o'clock this morning? Mm -hmm. Well, if you did that, you know, do it in two parts, then you can actually get the fiberglass resin and just coat the inside to make sure that it doesn't leak. True. And then put some little plumbing on it. Put a small little. 380 motor on it with a water pump for a, a boat. Oh, you wouldn't even need one that big. Yeah, a 380 motor on a on a 110 scale size trailer. Oh, I can use a motor from my um I have two motors for my uh one of my WPLs. Yeah, you're gonna want you oh, even, no, even better. No, even better. I got a little tiny water pump. And my and my uh, grow kit that I don't use anymore. There you go. Even better, yeah. That's I had, trying I had to set up on a timer. A three eighty motor to to run a pump, you know. Um, I mean, hell, they that that's what the uh, original grasshopper came with was a three eighty. Yeah, but I mean, see, here's the thing, though. Only thing I need is the pump. I don't need the actual motor because if I get an electric pump, a small electric pump, 
I can hook it up to a receiver and use a switch. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That, that's all I was saying. You don't have to rig anything up, you know. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night. We'll talk to you guys later. All right, thanks. Night uh, time. Take... Come on, let's Come on. All right, thanks. Dirk's wondering how many subs you lost because of his interview. <laughs> <laughs> None that matter, right? They didn't right. like it. Oh, the interview was fine. Nightbot was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think everybody in chat either fell asleep or just changed the channel. <laughs> oh, JD's still here. Turned out. Yeah, Turned back in. My interview. The technical difficulties. Oh, shit. Two dollars and forty five cents. A night bar got tank on the way out. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> no disassembly required. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, here's a brushless um, water pump. Wade Black is still here, too. Yep. Dwayne and JD are the troopers. Yep. Yep. No, three to six. Nice. Hey, JD. <laughs> Got a secret. Yeah. <laughs> Mitch is still here. Mm. He is. <laughs> oh, damn. Jersey's still up. You know he's in the he's in the mad on. scientist. Oh, yeah. He, he's probably sitting in the lab staring at that car. I think we got to new to do. to do. Yeah, hasn't he been 3D printing parts or something? Because the nozzle was clogged and he was looking into a new one. Eric was telling him about, about getting a new nozzle. Yeah, getting the hard and steel one since he, because the, the amount he prints, he needs to go to hard and steel. Right. But it takes forever to wear down hard and steel unless you're printing uh, carbon fiber. I'm not looking at chat anymore, JD. Stop typing. <laughs> <laughs> Which way does a fan blow? Is it uh, from back to front, right? Back to front. So that sounds like a urinary tract infection if you go back to front. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody knows. I would think it's my, probably my my fan. They're over it. I would think, unless it's supposed to exhaust it. I mean, I don't know. No, it's supposed to blow on it. If it's supposed to blow cold on it, then. Make sure that fan's sucking when you put your hand by it. Motherfucker, I didn't ask that question. <laughs> if I knew that, if I knew that, then I know how to put it on there. What's up, Brandon? Brandon? But the fan up, usually Brandon? draws from the back and blows forward, right? Yeah, Dwayne yeah, here needs to hit the hot end. Yeah, usually you feel a sticker when it's installed. If it's supposed to be pulling air in, then yes. Um, it's gonna blow over the hot end. Yeah, that's what that's what radioactive said. The air needs to hit the hot end. The air needs to hit the hot end. Yeah, yes, but which way? When it. you when you put the fan in and you plug which, it in, which side is, is open? It blowing, is it blowing air through the back, through the front, to the front, or is it blowing from the front and blowing through the, the back? back? It's blowing to the back to the front. Right. Okay. Back to the front. Yeah. Yeah. Stair side to the other side. Yeah, from the outside, pushing it in. Man, you guys are so yeah. fucking hard to work Brandon with. Brandon Timlin, welcome. Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we had a little bit more info. <laughs> uh, that's all, all I right. needed. Which... Damn. Can't make it easy on you, Q. Damn, Bert. too technical, motherfuckers. Bad advice as you get good advice. That way it's balanced. Yeah, radioactive says back to front. Back to front, right? Yeah, you want it to be blowing on the yes, 
on it. So yeah. Okay. That's how you, that's how you get a wet arm. Oh shit. Where's that damn thing? Oh, that's not enough. Uh, this doesn't work. I'm coming to Canada and better hide. <laughs> blame it all on. The way it's you it. You can't blame me for shit. It, he wants to make sure he, that the fan is working before you close it all up. Yeah, he, he said, said do, it, do a test before you close it to make sure the fan's on. Test it on. Oh, that's just long, common sense. Course. So in other words, turning it on and... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to leave it like that for now. And make sure, to get up the temperature. make sure the fan's blowing the right way and that the fan comes on. Does the head have to get up the temperature or anything for the fan to come on? Um... Usually, as soon as you turn it on, it fires right that's up. That's what I thought it did, too, but everyone has a different answer, so. Hey, I we will find out. Sure. I, find out I have no idea. I'm just on. guessing. Yeah, that's, oh, shit, that's, yeah. that's what mine does. Plugging it back in. Boom! There we go. I'm sure the fan doesn't right. blow itself start, around. Start recording. Hmm. No, see, it didn't come on. Good thing you checked, huh? Didn't come on? No. Sounds like you got a problem somewhere else. Yeah. If it's all the way plugged in. Dwayne said, oh, yeah, turn on the printer and in. the fan will come on. What happened? Dwayne said, just turn the printer on and the fan will come on. I did turn the printer on. It's on. It's not. You can see it. Is that plug made so that it, it can go? Polarity. Well, let me turn mine and see if mine comes on. Because <laughs> you, I don't know. Do you have to? Does yeah, that plug mine go on? on when you turn it on? Yeah, uh, it, that, it's, it's not hooked up right somehow. Well, I think it burnt out you. before that because I was having issues with the other fans. That's why the little fan didn't work. This little fan should have come on before right. that big fan, you know? Right. One of them should work. So, obviously, there's a problem with the board if it's not letting the fan come on now. Yeah, there's yeah, no output right. voltage from the board. Something yep, else went on, on it. Tell them it's defective. Stupid as yeah, a sound. to check the voltage. As stupid as it sounds, Kurt, but when you pull that all apart down on the bottom and, and see the board, is there a small little like a little bus fuse in there. Yeah, I didn't see one, but I wasn't looking for one either. It'll look like a slow-blown fuse if there is one. Just the yeah. two metal ones and a little bit of paper on it. Yeah, because you can hear this fan come on. No problem. I should have checked to see if that other fan was on, too. Yeah, all sorts of stupid-ass fans in this thing. Welcome in, Guru. Back, back to the drama. Oh, Guru. Hey, Guru. Uh, oh, it prints in one piece. Oh, shit. <clears throat> uh, it prints in one piece. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over getting out of this. <laughs> oh, shit. Somebody's, somebody's a little salty. <laughs> JD's did mention us all thrown in together and sending you a new one, Kurt. <laughs> Might come down to that, huh? First, we got to get a viral video out of it, though. So we got to hulk out on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you got to get oh, out of the garage shit, and just start the ground and slamming shit on it. I think I do. This would be like Keegan, Keegan said. This would be a good, you know, car lifter here. Print some. Those Dennis. Print some arms good. out here. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Just hey, the said the said the one on the side won't come on until you're actually printing. The one on the what? On the side. On what side? The one you, maybe the one you're messing with. If the other one's already on. 
Well, this one's just for my uh, power uh, modular. Yeah, well, it's that, always on. That that comes on all the time. That's like did a transformer. You the, did you plug the fan wires into the right spot? And if you did, they could be reversed. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was. One says positive, one says negative. It can be reversed. Right, gotta, but the wires on the fan might be like positive or be negative. Oh, that I wouldn't be able to tell because it's enclosed or it's got the sticker over it. Can't see that. I imagine the worst thing that would happen would be it spin backwards mm -hmm. if it's capable of it. Uh, no. Some don't. Some don't spin at all. Have, uh, a couple of um, car direction. fans that do that that won't do that. You got to have them in the right way. Some bearings are only one directional. JD said, "Have Eric print the arms for your lift." <laughs> I roll. <laughs> Brandon says, "Just set up a box fan behind it. Fuck it." <laughs> right. I know, right? Upgrade. Ceiling fan in the box. Fan. Big old forty millimeter fans out there that'll probably blow this thing off the table. Put a twenty inch back there, man. <laughs> Dwayne said, "The side fan. fan is part cooling fan for." The well, front. there went my bottom fan now because I pulled this off too many fucking times. The side fan is part front fan. Runs fan. All the, time. the front fan will run all the time. Fuck. And he said that, Yeah, the, the fans are 24 volt. Ooh. Yeah, it probably went poof. That's why that's why the hobby wing one went, went poof. The hobby wing didn't go well, poof, it, it like still works. Did, so plug it in, turn it on, poof. It never even went on. Oh, it it turned on, it probably parts your hair. thing fucking spinning so fast. Holy shit. Yeah, that'll part your hair. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> fucking... There ain't no tears left. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Brandon. Bill, that looked like a crack lighter. I'm telling you, I'm surprised Bill's got a mustache or fucking eyebrows. <laughs> Just, yeah, it'd be well then. Shit. It's more. It's more. It's it's kind of like how sounds work with 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 the uh, cell phones. Upgraded. Yeah, there's certain. No, your plane was up, like, up to here, to us. Bix, yeah, yeah, yeah like, look at John when John lights something, man, that thing looks like it's gonna. Blow his fucking chin off, man! Oh no, when that pick? thing would it sounded like a torch. Yeah. Sometimes new picks, yeah. when they're brand new, they they do. They got a good yeah, flame this on. Yeah, brand new. One. I just, I just mm -hmm. took it out of the package a couple of days ago. That'll do it. It wasn't Pressure sitting out in your truck for a little while getting pressurized, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have yeah. a truck to ride in anymore, man. I'm not uh -oh. a driver anymore. Oh. You're not driving anymore. Nope. Sorry to hear that. One of them situations where I'm just not comfortable doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the yep. crazy people on the roads these days, I don't blame you. It, does, it just doesn't work for me anymore, guys. You know? Can't say that. Hey, I'm, I'm proud of you for, for taking yourself off the road and not yeah, thank you. driving through a building or something, you know? I mean, it partly has to do with my balance, you know, and that kind of affects everything else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's that's gotten pretty bad. The balance has, you know. Back I hardly a lot of way. You got a handrail. You know what I mean? I got you. That's crazy. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, man. This weather's been unbelievable, man. It was. Cold and wet and all that shit, and then now it's almost like fucking spring here. See here, cold and wet. You guys don't know what cold and wet is. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. I'm glad I don't live anywhere near it. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, I just ain't dumb enough to live in it. That's all. That, right. well, well, we, we, what we, you're we, calling we cold and wet is our our spring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> We've it's been short playing in that shit. <laughs> but I'm here's here, but here, here here's the thing, Bill. We've been seeing 
you know, 70s and, you know, high six, six you know, highs in the 70s and shit, lows, lows in the evenings, like 50s. Oh, oh we've been getting all three seasons in, in a day. <laughs> yeah. We, hell, we went from 70 degrees and tornadoes and thunderstorms to an inch of snow and 37 degrees. Well, yeah. I just had a bunch of tornadoes last night or yesterday. How does that work, man? How do you get snow when it's not even down to freezing? Because the, because it come in so fast and so hard. The storm right behind it come all that war, all that that cold air right over top of the lakes and it dumped lake effect on us. Yep. Oh damn! Oh, okay. Gosh. That that is kind of the little spot where it all comes together. Yeah, well, we see lake effect snow. It, Piles up. It's not a good day. Yeah. You know, some 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 days lake effect. You can okay, okay it's a steady it's lake effect. All right, you might get two three inches, and there's other times where you get two three feet. Wow, I would imagine with it being above freezing, it, it gets slushy pretty quick, doesn't it? Well, just think it's that sudden temperature change because it drops. 30 degrees in a matter of an hour and a half. Yeah, it's the ground you know? temperature that makes it fucking slushy. That that that's what gets that snap down. And like I said, I, the air is cool right off, and anything that falls just starts to even though it's been warm, it just automatically starts to freeze on top. With the lakes not freezing as much as they used to, also there's more lake effect snow. Right. Yep. That's that's a weird effect though. You know what I mean? Yep, because like oh, I said, it's just the cold air going over the warm lake. That's it. We get yeah. it down here when um, they call it bay effect snow, but it's the same principles. When their hot, warm air comes right over the Chesapeake Bay and picks it up, it's got to flow just right. We had some, not this year, last year, 2022. Last 22 and 2 winter. <laughs> I'm good. No more snow for me. <laughs> Only snow I want is a snow cone on a hot day. I get that bird effect <laughs> snow on my car. <laughs> bird effect snow. I can get a shit a... all over my car. Okay, don't That's touch a that mouth. Shitty situation, Keith. Yeah. It was funny the other day. I mean, my car is fucking loaded, and the other I pull up to this. Lady, and I look at her car. She's got bird shit all over her car too. I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Must be neighbors. Was it a white car yeah. too? I think it was blue. It, it was white after that. Hey, right? Yeah. It was white. After... <laughs> blue with white. Snack chocolate chip, Keith. There are chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brandon. You you would get Lake Erie like at one time, and uh, the birds in the area here that like to roost above where I parked had found some kind of tree was these fucking blue berries of some kind. Yep. They were different. <laughs> all over my truck every fucking night. Oh yeah, purple poop. It used to, yeah, it, it pissed me off. Fucking white truck. And I'd go watch it and then every night they just eat the bird. They were sitting on it. It was it wasn't the bird shit. It was just what they were dropping while they were eating up there. Oh okay. Whatever I was, kind of things that was, it was growing there. It's like I got so much bird crap on my car. I'm driving back to the house. And I think this vulture flies over and shits, <laughs> hits the friggin' windshield, splatters all over. I'm like what the hell? <laughs> then I tried to turn the windshield wipers on, and I got no windshield wiper fluid in it no more. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Seriously, <laughs> Keith, the birds are talking to each other and they're dive bombing you. I mean, they, it's bad. It's underneath the carport, too. And it's like the whole, it's ah, bad. Ah. I'm like, I like how you knew it was vulture shit. Would you watch it shit or something? Like, oh, yeah. It was bigger than regular bird shit. <laughs> I thought I broke a window, man. It hit the damn windshield so hard. <laughs> Shitting out them bones. <laughs> Dehydrated. <laughs> it's too much cheese. Requesting permission to press or hang. <laughs> Yeah, a little bird pellet, like a. Pellet. I'm like, come on, you know, it's like two seconds, like with a, you know, the timing's like crazy. 
they're in a holding pattern over Keith's fucking car. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. Well, you see oh, a lot of shit. stuff on the WhatsApp. <laughs> no pun intended. Maybe you like the Puka ACDC or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a laxative to them. Mm-hmm. You didn't see it, Dennis. So on the WhatsApp, I took a picture of it. It's like, oh my god, it's fucking crazy. I can just imagine because even though we have no trees out here around our our place, we got bird shit on top of our cars all the time. Well, are you, are you, are you near the fast food places too? No, no. Birds are like are like the the big airliners, you know. The tank gets full; they just dump it while they're flying. Yeah. When they're taking off, flexing their muscles, straining. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my hose on fucking power wash, and it doesn't even come off. I'm like, ah, what the hell? Washing the paint off. Well, it's, yeah, it's yeah the bird shit stuff's there. It's kind of baked on at this point. You gotta lick it off, Keith. It's not very good. They get wet. <laughs> gotta get it wet. Yeah. Like yeah. in the movie. Gotta get some up. good fucking wax stuff. Yeah, wax off. I got that. It's a glass window on the top. You know, I got that stupid sim. Fucking oh, you got that thing. Sim- roof in there. The whole thing. Thank goodness it wasn't open, right? The back seat window was in the back. I got bird shit in my back fucking seat now. Because <laughs> you're not, not you left the back window open. Somebody did, yeah. Like they're playing frisbee golf with their fucking oh, turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> is it in your carport? Is there a room above it, like on? That the birds can fly yeah, in. Yeah, just like a it. little bit. Just a little bit. I mean. Sometimes maybe you could put a net up there or something to stop them. Or... I'm thinking about just putting a cloth over my car. Getting a drop cloth. There you go. Right. Just birds so you can wash it off. Or at least put you a can. target on it. It won't wash <laughs> off. I tried. Because it's been baked down because of the heat. Probably. T- Texas I'm getting gas at H E B and I'm trying to scrub it off with the friggin' windshield washer shit and it won't even come off with that. Yeah, that's not the right thing. No wonder those things are always all torn up and fucked up when they try to use them. You have to wash your windshield wash that you shit. more shit on your windshield than you're trying to take off. <laughs> Why is my windshield all white and hazy? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't like that before I tried cleaning it. <laughs> That's what I should do is one day. Put Vaseline on, on somebody's windshield wipers. But not work very good. And then I go into Winkley's and the, the lady at Winkley's, she owns it. Her husband owns it. She goes, does your mom, what, what does your mom watch? You want a bird feeder? I'm like, no, fucking bird feeders. <laughs> <laughs> she you looks at me like, truck? what? I'm like, look at my car. Got her a candle. I'm like, yeah, just get her a candle. <laughs> <laughs> right? Anything but a bird feeder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want to freak somebody out? Put some big ass zip ties on their uh, drive axle. Oh, on the drive shaft, yeah. <laughs> on the drive shaft, uh, zip tie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those those big zip ties that they that they that a lot of times. Yeah, the real they use for cuffs, like the police use for cuffs, some big ones like that. Yeah, put Very them big things on there. Those they're big cool. thick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah about three that'll scare somebody. Long. Yeah, I heard a story on a job site. Somebody like a contractor, they were having battles, and somebody did it to somebody's car, and they drove away and. Couldn't figure it out. Stopped uh-huh. to figure out what it was. And... It's a good hey, mechanical you. sound. Click, 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 click. The worst, worst, the worst thing, thing, the worst thing I think I've smelled is um, a prank that they did at a city, the city rec program I used to work for in New York before I came out here. Uh, anyways, we patrolled the parks. 
at night to make sure there was nobody doing any vandalization. Well, a couple guys decided to uh, put Limburger cheese in, on the uh, heat exchanger and on the manifold and shove some inside the vents. Yeah. Oh, that, I, I, I have some... I have some spray. It's called liquid ass. It's the nastiest <laughs> smelling spray ever. You spray that in somebody's cabin filter? <laughs> Do I still have it? Where I think it's down here. Hold on. Yeah, I've never actually smelled Limburger cheese, but I remember my dad telling me a story about uh, one time there. Uh, one of commanding officers. I don't remember how high he was in the chain of command, but they were having an inspection the next day on deck, on deck inspection, which meant they were going to be out in the sun for about two or three hours. And to get even with him over something, uh, my dad... I'm going to bring him to beat the creek and we're going to clear out somebody. Watch. <laughs> and they lined his... You hear back. about it. It's around here somewhere because it's still in two Ziploc bags. And so that Limburger cheese, they hit it up, you know, in the, in the flap of the hat where you never didn't see it. His hat stunk like hell, man. <laughs> they got home with inspection. He's seen him throw the hat away. <laughs> <laughs> I never smelled it. Blue cheese is bad enough. I can't. I've heard Limburger is bad, though. When well, I was just cut out. When I was working out in the field, when I started with this company, the contractors that we did all this work for, these guys on the weekends, they'd go out and, you know, gang up together and go fishing. Well, one guy got all pissed off that he never got the phone call to go fish. So I guess he went fishing out by his house, got a whole bunch of fish, cleaned them, brought the, the bodies in a bag, and... One of the guys that ran a piece of equipment, he went over and dumped the fish bodies into all the vents inside the cab of the dozer and set the bodies on top of the motor. The guy had no clue, gets in, starts it up, lets it get warm. The guy immediately started puking as soon as he got in the cab. Yeah. They were having this battle back and forth for a week. <laughs> and you could smell the shit across the job site. It was yeah. rancid. I think that given had threw up the white flag. Putting in foundations, they didn't have a um a, a bulkhead, so we had to throw the panels out of the hole, right? And it was probably about ten feet. So it was a guy on the top of the top of the foundation. And I would throw the panel out and he'd catch it and they'd take it across the the hole where you, and put it up in the truck. Well, there's this thing. It was a box called Ties and they, they weighed about 80 pounds, just a little square box. My boss was like, watch this. I'm going to pick it up. Make it make believe it's really heavy. Throw it to this. Throw it to the guy up there. So he picks it up. He picks it. It was empty. He put it up and he threw it like that. And the guy, Scotty, his name. He grabbed it and he thought it was heavy and he was ready to catch something heavy and he fell off the fucking panel and fell right down in the hole. Friggin' messed his arm up and everything. He's like, fuck. <laughs> it was funny when it, you know, for thinking about it, but yeah, mm -hmm. for a second. It sounded like have 16 penny fail nail thing. fights, man. All day long, we'd have throw 16 penny nails at each other. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> My cousin, I was tying steel. I was probably eight, eight and a half feet, nine feet in the air. No safety oh. net or wire or anything. Tying steel and Derek threw a 16 penny nail. Hit me right in my, I went like this and blocked it. Hit me right in the friggin' hand, man. Well, now I got one hand on the steel and one hand with a 16 penny nail. I go, pops off. My hands swell up and everything. Oh, I got him though. I threw a two by four across the foot and hit him in the calf. Oh, okay. <laughs> Found it. Got him yeah. back. You wait. Oh, <laughs> you wait. Hey, Keith. Yes, sir. Did you want to kill this live? It's been going for quite a while. 
Mm, how long? It's only 11.30, right? Yeah, I'll probably stop it at 1. I mean, not 1, but 12. <laughs> Remember, he's an hour behind us. Yeah. Hour behind, hour ahead, it doesn't matter, man. Two and a half yeah, hours, I don't care how long hours. it goes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Two and a half hours, that's not bad. Yeah, we still got JD and Bushman in there. Yeah. We trying to yeah. censor us. Yeah. Dennis? Yeah, the Dennis. Heck? Trying to censor us. Trying to sense duck man. No, there was something I, I was going to tell Eric, but I guess it's going to have to wait till after. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you need to talk to him, I can shut it down. No. You don't have to shut it down because I want to talk there. to somebody. Well, I mean, there's only a couple people in the chat, so. Well, you got Bushman, JD, Brandon. You guys are still, still hanging out. Three or four people, yeah. That's another thing I got to get is figure out how I can look at the chat. You have to open another window. Don't tell them to do that. <laughs> this one's live. Let me turn my. Oh, I got it right here on my phone. That's easy. What do you need to tell me? A whole different, whole other things. Not even connected to what. what we'll you're talk doing. about that after. <laughs> I just We're turned trying my phone to add more down. technology to Keith. We don't need any for that. <laughs> Ray, yeah, been, great my old old man. What's that movie? Grumpy old grumpy man. old man. Oh, grumpy old man. Turn that was on. okay movie. Yeah, happy St. Patty's Day, Bushman. That's why you haven't seen Sean. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh Where's shit! Our, it is today. St. St. Patty's today. Yeah, he he was out for the parade. I'll have to wear my stuff tomorrow. No, St. Patty's Day is Sunday. Yeah. Oh, so it's tomorrow. Yeah, and oh, it's awesome. today. It's twelve thirty East Coast, or I guess it's oh, yeah. it's quarter after today. twelve already East Coast. So it's already fifteen minutes into St. Patty's Day. So exactly. Yeah. So you know, so Sean's out at the club tomorrow. getting drunk. Yeah. Bar. Dante. <laughs> yeah, Eric. I know. Hey, I can leave uh, something in the chat too. Certain area that you can clear with that just in case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I just learned something I can write and read in the show. I can't read, but. <laughs> hey, I can leave something in the chat too. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Keith, now, 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 all you, now just look at this and say. Oh, it's top speed. He's leaving. What, say, John? Later, Mitch. Say BRB. Hi, Mitch. BRB. BRB. Be right back. Oh, in the chat. Yeah. I got you, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. Happy Leprechaun's Day. Oh, that's not going to work. Stop. Later, Mitch. Later, Mitch. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> hey. oh, it's spiteful. Okay. Here's an interesting little tidbit. Since we're talking about same a tidbit today, or a tidbit. The reason my name is Boynton. Is because somebody in my family in the past came over on the boat and it was actually quite a few people came over together on the boat and they asked, Where are y'all from? And they said, We are from the Boyne. And that's a region in uh, Ireland. I think some of my family way back in the day came over on a boat. Y'all are the wrong boat. <laughs> Y'all are, are the Boyntons. And that's basically <laughs> the name that the people here gave us when we came over to America from Ireland. 
And um, right. I imagine that was in the potato famine, which is a famous thing in history. It was fucking the Irish up big time. But uh, that's that's how my name came to be. Well, your yeah. boat and my boat are totally two different boats. Hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, man. Hey, it was either either a boat or swim. But yeah, you know or, or some of the first slaves actually it could have been owned by the same company though. That company had their hands in everything. Yeah, the English. Yeah. Well, what <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. English. Dutch, the Dutch actually. Yeah, Dutch Dutch Indian Company. Yeah, the Dutch Indian Company. They they were in everything. They were moving people whether it was immigrants or anything else, you know. They Whatever would make money. Exactly. Yep. Buy, sell, and trade. Uh, let's see. Slice. I'm trying to figure out how long the delay is. Well, I know it's pretty long between it's like our life, 45. Our life and, and my TV. It's like 45 seconds or something like that. Something yeah. else. Heard. Somewhere between 30 and 45. Yeah. Maybe he says every time he hears Irish, he thinks of Blazing Saddles. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Mitchell. Okay. Yeah, everybody smash that thumbs up. Keith. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Mitchell, I gave him a dislike just for something different. Okay. That was Nightbot's fault, Keith. Yeah, you got to blame yeah, Nightbot on that. <laughs> Nightbot was fucking hammering me, man. <laughs> he was hammering everybody. You, it wasn't just you. Yeah, I know. It's my nemesis. Oh, got you, got JD, got Tank. Oh, man. <laughs> you got Tank even when Tank was leaving. You guys said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they did. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. I've never seen a, a Nightbot be that aggressive on anybody. You know what I mean? That's uh, pretty crazy. Right. You know what's yeah, funny? They're, they're they're turned up. They're turned up. He Keith wanted it that way. I was like, okay, we can always change it. We can always go back and change it. We've just Brandon never gone just, back and changed it. Bushman just did it on purpose. Typed in and Nightbot hates all caps. It oh all shit! There's a little got a hammer. <laughs> Took like two seconds. Pops up uh, and disappears. <laughs> Oh, and and the thing about telling me to stop, uh, what was it? Uh, links spamming. Told, Nightbot told me to stop posting links. I'm like, what? Sean, you know I'm drinking green beer. I was just shouting out Raz. Maybe he's, you know? back. Maybe he's back from the bar or at the bar still. How do you type in? Uh, how do you type in capitals? Ninety nine percent chance that I fall off a seat one. <laughs> <laughs> Push the shift button. Just don't lay down at the same time or caps lock. Keep your feet on the ground. On your phone. On your phone. Look like it's comfortable on the oh, just push and hold the up arrow on your keypad. I mean, on your keyboard, on your message keyboard. Do that. Just just type in BRB. It don't matter. BRB. Just type, just just type it in. <laughs> Radioactive, what's up? Yeah, I said, I, 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 I thought I woke up Friday morning. I didn't even know where the fuck I was. I'm sorry, Sean. Oh, is that wrong? I put DRD. It's DRD. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, but that's a different thing. I took clients out Thursday night. And I took, there's one of the clients I take out. Dude, if you think I can drink that motherfucker, it was like, holy shit. Like, I couldn't keep up with him. I had to be like, Brian, I know I'm working, like, you're the client, but I'm at home. Like, I'm like, I'm out of here. That's it. Like, and he's like, stay okay, for one more. And he's like, stay for one more. And I'm like, Brian, no, I'm out of here. I'm done. Hey, KBRC 13. <laughs> <laughs> bring, 
<laughs> they back sure cut me off. <laughs> well, I, I, I went to the I went to the St. Patrick's Day parade today in North Carolina. So I will give everybody here a word of advice. If you've never been to the North Carolina St. Patrick's Day parade, don't ever fucking waste your time coming to it. <laughs> it's the worst I've ever been to in my life. So it's like, was it just you, Sean? Was it just you? It is fucking one of the worst St. Patrick's Day parades I've ever been in my life. It's like, oh my God, it was crazy. Fucking so, yeah. like snooze fest, man. Huh? Oh my God, it's fucking awful. It was, it was really bad. Like, you know? What do you got in your hand there? Chapstick or something? You're shaking around. Uh, no, I went like, to this parade one it. time. I they, like they, they, I mean, oh, yeah. they had this old fire truck. Sorry, they had this old fire truck to come hey, out. It was so yeah, fumy. It, it, looks like it, it looks like it's fixed cake and it's cocaine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Nearly killed everybody, man. <laughs> what near what near killed somebody? A fire body? No, we had this. We went to this uh, parade, and they had this old fire truck like thing that came out. And it was so fumy. They had these two little girls riding down the back, waving. You couldn't even see anything. It was all fucking gas fumes. Like, man, how would they can even do that? It was really bad. And now those two kids are addicted to meth. They're probably. It was a long time ago. It was probably ten years ago. They're probably. Probably twelve something. Ten like years that. ago, I, I thought know. you were talking about something that happened recently. No, it's been a long time. It was an oatmeal festival. Oatmeal oh, festival. Oatmeal festival. Okay. Yeah, yeah they, exactly they have a plane that flies over the parade and dumps oatmeal out. That's they like had a car birthday. show. I was the only the only one with the car there that year. You were the only one with a car show with a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did the winner get? I left home with KVRC. <laughs> <laughs> I left home with Duckman. Mm -hmm. My fucking phone. Like, I had to wait a little charger to get the fucking name this star charger. So, charger. <laughs> did you stick it in a wiggle it so that it recognizes it? Yeah, it's not actually the charger, it's actually the fucking phone itself. Oh, you give it's up on it? Yeah. <laughs> ah, that sucks. Take a, time to take a break from it for a little take bit. It back out to the garage where I got a little bit more room. It's closer to the trash can there, too. Did KBRC yeah. give you a fucking nightbot? <laughs> I gave myself a nightbot, yeah. The fucking nightbot? Oh, but. If I ever put Nightbot on, I'm fucked. Everybody will be back for not any time since they've got. I won't fuck. understand you anyway. I had some advice from some people, and they said put Nightbot on, and I did. I guess that some person was tank. I normally play games with Nightbot, so if I ever put it on my fucking streams, I'd be fucked. Cause... Yeah, but it's just, well, just on. Night. Nightbot. Nightbot kicked me out of the chat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mark, it's so weird having to be without the beard. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. It, it's, it was a complete mind fuck, and it was exactly what I wanted to do. But hey, it's like you actually free the kids from the basement. It's like, wait a minute, he was looking like the Unabomber, and now all of a sudden he's shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, what the okay. hell did he do? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. What the hell is he up to? Jeffrey Dahmer, Master Chef. Oh, shit. It's all in the sauce. Oh, I think Nightbot's got the weather wrong because it that wind isn't nine mile an hour. Add like a two or maybe a three in front of it. 
Yeah, we got about yeah. 57, 58 today. Yesterday it was around 60. Thursday it was like 74 here. Yeah. 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 It depends on, on exactly where the weather station is. Well, tomorrow is going to get colder, and then Thursday we're looking at mid 30. <laughs> I'm looking at waking up tomorrow morning with snow. I mean, like, do you have an airport out there or something? Yeah, most of the time, it's at an airport. Yeah, yeah. Nine times yeah. Out, it's yeah. at an airport. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got Hopkins International right there in uh, Cleveland. Was that tornado far from me? Dallas or no? There's 40 tornadoes in Ohio or something. Oh, shit, they were everywhere out here. They're going to change Tornado Alley and make a big right turn to head towards Ohio right now and put the Tornado Alley as well. Right. Or, about two weeks. Yeah, they had, uh, well, they had two that touched down in Columbus yesterday. That's crazy. And one. The global warming doesn't exist. Yeah, and then there was one, I think it was Wednesday or Tuesday, touchdown out there. Well, well, hell, Sean, you can look at even it this way. We had we had one in Michigan in February. Yeah. But all of that I'm gonna say is you know what? Ohio deserves every fucking thing it gets, but it's one of the ones that votes against fucking global warming, so like for so it said you deserve every fucking thing you get. Like, you know, it's like karma. <laughs> it's the fucking ass. For it said, look out tomorrow morning and see if your fucking house is still there. <laughs> well, luckily, we're in an area where we don't get tornadoes. For now, Brandon, what's up? We haven't Ooh. seen a tornado out here in a long time. Yeah, wind here got to be at least 30. Um, yeah, and, and then again, I seen one three weeks ago about 10 miles that way. I know, it's, I watched the video yeah. when you were driving through. It's like you were driving through all the emergency vehicles. Yeah, <laughs> they were still, that was, that was a power company cutting out all the trees and stuff. Matter of fact, right there at the end, I couldn't even make it through the end of the other road. I ended the video and ended up turning around and driving back. Probably a good idea. Unless you need yeah. to be up. Yeah, I was like, okay. I, I, I was, I've seen enough. But like I said, like I said, I just went up the one road where I know it, knew it come through. Went over and then come back down the next the next road, and that's what okay. I hit a dead end. I was like, all right, I'm not gonna cut back over to a third road. I'm just gonna head back home. Yeah, that's what I'm Yeah, weather's been weird for a long time, man. Probably 15, 16 years ago, there was a tornado that came through between here and Stark. Went through part of Stark, not downtown, but out in the, in the neighborhoods and all. Cut a path about, I don't know, 200 foot wide for a couple of miles. Mostly woods, you know, but it fucked up a few houses. Then another one in the opposite direction was a lot closer, actually, probably five miles from here. One went through and cut a path about 100 foot wide. You realize that the former first level only two fucking trailer park rails fighting? And tornadoes in Florida. Target tornado. Yeah. It was crazy, you know? It and like I like said, never. Events that are just unheard of in this area, you know what I mean? And like I said, never, never say never. I know back in the 80s, exactly. a tornado touched down in Boonville, New York, and that's basically the base of the Adirondack Mountains and just shot up into the mountains. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at the right? What's that? 
Look out log cabins. <laughs> like I said, you know, thank God it went into forest, but even still. Corona, is that build off still on? What's that? Sean, the what? build off. I don't know because if I have to start the new job, I'd rather to start the new job May 1st and start being a great lakes. It's going to be hard to be in Kentucky, so it's like in like, yes. the kid force and fit, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's going to be hard to be in Kentucky four days after I started driving the project. Okay. Right in 10 miles. It, yeah. come, it came, that, that, that tornado come right over my head, right down that power line that I was looking at in that video. If I would have gone, could follow that power line, I'd be right to my house. Well, so, so I don't know, Dennis, it might be, like, I'm saying what it's going to be like, maybe it'll fly in between Friday and Saturday. Let's try it again Sunday or something, but I don't know. It's going to be like, I feel really hard because I got to leave here. I actually leave here on the 29th of fucking April, and I got to drive, pack every fucking shit up. And I got to drive and be in Milwaukee and start the job on the first. Well, like, like, so like, you just turn around and We'll shoot it back again. Not going to be hard. Like, so, uh, I might have to just You're, cancel it. Did you, did you just say Milwaukee or are you go, you coming to Michigan? Or Michigan, whatever. Same song in that the woods, no? <laughs> well, oh, all, 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 I'm gonna, all I'm going to say, Sean, is yeah. yeah, you're on the other side of the state. Yeah, but you're all fucking in brands anyway. So it's so, like. Uh, <laughs> What I'm, I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, Sean, if you get, if you can get down, if you can get down there, don't worry about the return flight. I'm coming back to Michigan. Yeah, I know, but it's still a fucking long. I have to be, because I have, I have to be back at work Monday morning. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah, but if I have to be at work Monday morning, and I got, I start the Monday beforehand. I can hardly turn around and say yeah, I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I understand that. I'm just, I'm just saying, if you keep, if you get down there, I'll get you back to Michigan. How long of a drive is it from Kentucky to Michigan? Um, I think it was seven and a half hours. Let me look real quick here. So what event is that you're trying to make it to, Sean? Eat the creek. Eat the creek. Eat the creek. It sounds like an awesome event. I'd love to be able to go to it. It is a good event, but it's a, it's a weird time. In China. Although it was meant to, I was meant to be staying here. You, you can make it. Summer, so then a lot of me staying here. There was no problem. So then I would just fucking go. I didn't have to worry about it. Well, I'm not even getting time off with one two jobs. I'm getting like whatever time I fucking take me to drive from fucking here to Milwaukee. That's my time off. Like you know, so it's fucking weird. Why can't I find my live now? I'm not live anymore. Where are you looking for on YouTube on your phone? Yeah. Are you on, on your channel? channel? Just live. Uh, I got six days ago, 1322. Keith, where it says go into your, go into your little camera. Your it you? Like you're going to go live, like you're actually going to do a live. You can either pull up your history or uh, anyway, it's it's not too hard. You know, like I said, hit, start by hitting the one that says you. And then. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I got that. I got it on my channel. Okay, cool. There you go. Go to live. And uh, it says... Hey, Brandon, Brandon should be your last big comment. If you were on your live your videos, video, it should be in your history right there. And I go to live. It's... Yeah, the only one I get is when uh, Spin Rush was showing. 
then don't worry about the lives. Just go to your history. If you were uh, already, it's not already, history. You're still doing the live, Sean. Right. It's five hours and thirty three minutes from where you're going to be working. That's how far it is. Yeah, so to, to Kentucky. That's the speed yeah. limits. Seventy five videos. It's longer than that for me. I thought it was farther away than that. But... No, it's five hours. It's it's like sure. seven for me because I'm I'm further west. Yeah, and John goes through Indiana and comes back down. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I I go into Indiana, I go I go thirty six miles down to Indiana, and then about three or four miles into Ohio. Yeah, so that's it. It's still up in the air. I don't know what the fuck. Like, so because I'm trying. Like I said, I just I just I just I'm look. driving all the way up the fuck fuck fucking wherever it is, up, and then. Maybe. I was just wondering how many people were participating. Maybe you could do something remotely, like uh, have them send you pictures or have other people judge them for you or do something on Zoom. Or... Maybe because there is a lot of good sort of building. Right? The, the, prob oh, the, problem, is, the problem is with Zoom is service. Mm -hmm. right. yeah, the, problem, the problem also is like how the fuck they give them a trophy, how they get the trophy back. Really like I found it. I'm gonna end this live. So guys. Maybe, it might be easier yeah. now, but it's still like a month and a half out in town. So mm. Oh wait a minute. I think I made Sarge. I made you host. You can make me host back. No, you're not allowed to be host. Either that or Sarge can end it. You're muted, Sarge, by the way. Thanks. You're good, Keith. Okay. I'm over here fighting with this radio right now. I forgot how to fucking... What do we do? Uh, don't end meeting for all. Leave meeting. Yeah, don't end yeah. for everybody. That's for sure. How the we, fuck do I do the, this again? Go on your YouTube. I told you, go to your camera. Go to and pop your camera back up and like you were going to start a live on YouTube. Yeah, you don't want to end the meeting. You want to end the YouTube part. Pull hey, your Brian, what, live up. Brian what says you can take Brad with you as a co-pilot. I think he's talking to John, maybe, or okay. Sean. I'll go to the three dots. Mm -hmm. There yep. it is. Stop.